What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money, man, on the streets and online. You know, today is hustle, man. If y'all can see me through this glare, man, it's shining out here. You know, I'm a GoPuff delivery driver, man. I just got my first order, man. I usually turn the camera on before I pull up at the warehouse, but I turned it on a little late today. Well, not late, but I turned it on as soon as I got to the warehouse. You know, I usually have a little restart. But, you know, this is my second day of the week. I'm scheduled to work three days this week. You know, last night I had a nice night, man. I did uh, 19 deliveries for like $104 or something like that. Yeah, I think that's what it came out to. It was a decent night, you know, made about all In a quarter mile, turn left onto South Bird right Extreme. Here at GPS, I'm about to turn right now. But uh, yeah, man, I'm about to get in here and see how much we can pile up tonight. You know, last night I was uh, listening to this, I was just listening to different uh, app search from Deepak Chopra and Alan Goldhammer and things like that, you know, about uh, different eating habits and how to eat, things like that. Today, I'm about to probably find a book to listen Take to. Take the next left on the South Burdick Street. To edu educate and stimulate and, uh, you know, elevate, man. All the ways be growing and learning, man. But uh, I'm about to, uh, you know, find something to listen to. You know, hopefully we can at least match that uh, 19 orders or beat it tonight. You know, I'm only 21 orders away from getting that 40 orders to get that $100 bonus, you know might be able to get that tonight how good it been going the last night this is my last couple of nights i worked but uh, i'm gonna do an update in an hour man let y'all know why i'm at. continue for one you and a half miles you know see how much money we can get tonight puffy chronicles what's going on welcome back to the channel rookie riches man i hope y'all can see me with this glare man i'm over here in the corner in the cut man like six drivers deep with five drivers deep we ain't had an order come out of here in about 30 minutes though but, uh, man, it's the 7.30 update. I've been on the clock for two hours, you know. My shift today is uh, 5.30 to 1. And, uh, man, you know, so far, man, it ain't looking good. It ain't puffing like that. It definitely ain't puffing. You know, but I did go over 20 orders, so I got the $60 bonus coming already just in two days. You know, 21 orders. But uh, I'm at two deliveries, man. Six fifty in delivery charges, two dollars and eighty one cent in tips, putting me at nine dollars and thirty one cent. But you know, I ain't even tripping, man, because I'm still making twelve dollars an hour. You know, with the GoPuff subsidy, it's twelve dollars an hour, even if we don't get an order. So I done did, man, worse jobs for twelve dollars an hour, man. Not even a year or two, but probably about two years ago to a year ago, man. Hella job got you humping for that twelve fifty twelve dollars. I'm sitting in the car listening to books, writing down quotes from books, building my mind, you know. And you know, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, making twelve dollars an hour, man. I can, I, I done did so. I be thinking, comparing this to other things that I done did in my life for twelve dollars an hour or less, bust my ass, man. I done did my time. So let me chill and put my feet up and get this little easy go puffy money, you know. But uh, I'm listening to the book, Brian Tracy, um, it's called The Miracle of Self-Discipline. It's like, I think it's like the third book I done listened to by Brian Tracy. I listened to Eat, Eat That Frog, uh, No Excuses, and then I'm listening to this right now, uh, The Miracle of Self-Discipline, the key, the key to Personal Growth, the, the Key to Personal Greatness by Brian Tracy. So, you know, I told you I found all these authors, man. I ain't, I didn't know, I don't even know how I found them, man. I just... God led me to these people, man, because I'm hearing things that I wish I'd heard when I was 20. But, you know, not to get off topic, man, we only at 931 12 but well, we make it $24 with the subsidy. I'm in here chilling, man, building and growing. But I do got a couple quotes I want to leave on your head, though. He said, uh, write down your write down 10 goals you want to accomplish in the next 12 months and write them down every day. He said what it do is it program your subconscious to make you start, I don't know, start pushing towards those goals because you're seeing it every day and you're actually going through the action of writing it down every day so it and leave an impression on yourself kind of I'm, I'm on it i'm doing it tomorrow starting tomorrow it's after 21 days you don't you keep going but he said you're going to start seeing the results after 21 days you're going to start moving th towards those things that you've been writing down you know and uh i'm gonna leave you with another quote they asked thomas jefferson if he believed in luck he said, yeah. He said, the harder he work, the more luck I have. So, you know, everybody always going to be acting like stuff fell from the sky on these people and stuff like that. It ain't luck. Look at people like Jamie Foxx, man. I remember when Jamie Foxx was crazy, crazy George on rock. <laughs> you know, for real, to getting the Oscar, to getting the 
a Grammy, all that, man. But, you know, for real, man, that ain't luck. That's hard work. You know, I just wanted to leave that as an example. But, yeah, man, I'm going to do another update at 9.30. But right now, it ain't fucking right now. But I'm chilling, man. I'm still making $12 an hour sitting in my car. What's going on? Welcome back to the 9.30 update, man. You know, been on the clock for four hours so far. You know, when I did that last update, I was at uh, two deliveries for, I believe, $9.31. I think I got that right. You know, yeah, I was at $9.31 for two deliveries, two hours in, man. You know, since then, man, I only did another three deliveries, man. You know, that's why I'm so glad they pay that subsidy, man. I remember that subsidy, like two months ago, that subsidy was only $8.50. It ain't used to be $12, but, you know, that 12 definitely come in handy, you know, you know to nighttime drive or something. But, uh, yeah, man, I did three deliveries since the last update, man. Put me at 5 on the night. Put me at sixteen twenty-five in delivery for charges and seven eighty-one in tips, man. In four hours, man, we got $7.81 tips it's crazy you know what i'm saying only did five orders for 2406 you know but like i was explaining that subsidy you know they got to give me that extra uh what is it 24 dollars to make me make 12 dollars an hour you know that's that's what the subsidy be like whenever you see like what i made in the week video that's what they give you like right now i'm only at 24 dollars that's not making 12 dollars an hour so that subsidy is what make up and what that extra be on your, on your check um, but yeah, man, I'm on my way back to the Puffy shop, man, to see what's going on. It ain't really been, been too much happening. In four hours, you figure out we get five orders. And we ain't really got a bunch of drivers how we usually do. We got about, I think it's about four or five up here. But shit, it's been nice when it's been eight or nine or ten sometimes. You know, I guess they seeing the volume on went down, especially with school being out. But man, it's a lot of construction on the street right now, man. Pay attention. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to get back on y'all in an hour, man. Let y'all know where this money at. You know, but uh, I got to find me something else to listen to, man. I finished that Brian Tracy book. You know, it's only like an hour, 12 minutes or something like that. I finished that. You know, I'm about to find something else to listen to. But I'm going to do another update at 1130. Let y'all know where the money at. But $24.06 in cash, $48 with the subsidy, you know. $12 an hour, can't beat it for doing nothing. <laughs> I only put like 24 miles on my car so far tonight too. You know, that's 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 low for four hours, you know. But I'm gonna do another update at eleven thirty. Concept and method What's going on? teaching is celebrated entrepreneurs. What's going on? Welcome back to the 12, 11 30 update. You know, I've been on the clock for six hours, man. You know when I did that last update, I was at five deliveries. Oh, man, this thing keep dropping. I was at five deliveries for $24, man. But like I was explaining with the subsidy, you know, had to round me up to $48, you know. But, man, since then, I was able to do another four deliveries, man. You know, put me at nine on the night, you know, for uh, $48.06, man. You know, I'm at $29 in delivery charges and... 1881 in tips, man. They ain't really tipping the night, man. You know, but it's cool. It's a little slow night, smooth night. You know, I done been able to get a lot of work done. You know, I told you just my university. I've been in here working, man. I've been writing down notes about day trading because that's one of my next hustles. You know, I'm about to get into that. Start doing that about two hours a day. You know, I told y'all I read where you if you put up two hundred seventy-eight dollars a day, that's a million. That's a hundred thousand dollars saved. I, I think that's a possibility. Right you got so many different hustles and you break them all up and you get this from that and that and this. You know, it's definitely a possibility, man. You know, but uh, that's where I'm at, man. You know, but, uh, you know, with the subsidy, $48 after six hours. You Take know, the next me, ride onto Parkview Avenue. They owe me $24, man, with $23.94 if you want to get technical. You know, Dookie Hauser with that math off the top, boy. You know, um, so I'm at seventy-two dollars. You know, to make a long story short, at the six hours with that subsidy, that's how the subsidy work. You know, if if I don't, like, let's say I come in here and do a six-hour day and made forty-eight dollars, that extra twenty-four dollars get added to my check. That's basically how the subsidy work in a nutshell. You know, 
and you figure to do that for every hour if you work. If you don't at least make $12, that's how the subsidies come about. But yeah, man, I'm on my way to this uh, delivery. Right now, I did just turn on a book, though, by Robert Sharma. I think it's called the 5 a.m. club in half a mile turn left onto um, madison I listen street to a book called the miracle morning in 600 so feet turn right onto amherst avenue so i this one out too turn so right onto amherst one out. avenue i'm gonna have my little brief synopsis when i come back at one o'clock you know let y'all know but uh yeah i'm gonna do an update in a uh Take hour the and a half right on the benton avenue then turn right onto what's going on welcome back to the one o'clock a.m checkout video man I'm on my way to the crib. I'm a little tired today, too. But, uh, when I did that last update, I was at, uh, man, I think I was at $54 or something like that. I mean, let me pull it up real quick. You know, when I did that last update, I was at nine deliveries for $48. You know, but uh, they give you a subsidy, so really seventy-two dollars with the subsidy, twelve times six. You know, been on the clock just uh seven and a half hours today, though. But I end up doing another four deliveries in these last two hours, man. Um, putting me at twenty-nine twenty-five and delivery fees for the night, and eighteen dollars and eighty-one cent tips, man. They went and thirteen on you know, thirteen deliveries for sixty-four dollars and six cents. Um, I'm at 32 deliveries on the week, you know, uh, so I was able to get that $80 bonus. You know, I'm eight, eight deliveries away from getting that $100 bonus, but I do got one more day that I work this week, so that's definitely in the bag, that $100 bonus. But uh, even if I don't even, didn't work another day this week, I would still get like a, let me see, with the $80 bonus, and I'm at $168. Like two hundred forty-eight dollars for you know what fifteen hours, not bad. You know, plus whatever subsidy, so it'll be more than that. But uh, yeah, man, it was a nice little smooth night. Thirteen deliveries tonight, nineteen last night, thirty-two on the week. You know, one hundred sixty-eight dollars before the eighty-dollar bonus in two days, not bad. One more day to work this week, so my, it's gonna be like a five hundred dollar check for twenty-two hours. I can do that. I can manage. But uh, yeah, man, I just turned the book on by uh. Robert Sharma, it's called uh, The 5 a.m. Club, Own Your Morning, Elevate Your Life. I think it's the concepts kind of similar to what that uh, mid uh, Miracle Morning was like by Hal Elrod, but I'm only like uh, 20 minutes into the book, you know, but uh, it's an 11 hour book, so I'll probably be listening to this for the next couple days, you know, but uh, I'm liking what I'm hearing so far, you know. I'm just really trying to find some structure to my days, you know, so I can get, be more productive, man. I'm tired of just, you know, bouncing around and not getting nothing done. You know, a lot of people say master a lot of things. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's me to the T, man, because uh, that's a lot of things I be doing over here and then doing over here and then no nothing never really get done, man. You know, I got to uh, focus, have focused energy, man. That's, that's one of my main things I gotta work on man for real so that's why I be listening to a lot of these people talking about maximizing your time and time management and things like that you know cause um, them are the people that's productive man And uh, one of the things that uh, at the beginning of this book that the one guy just said what's stopping you from living a legendary life man you know it's just something that everybody you know it's about tapping into that greatness that God put in you that uniqueness that God put into you and, and presenting it to the world man for real and uh I don't know, man. That's what I be on, man. You know, if it was easy to be legendary, legendary, everybody would be doing it. You know, it's supposed to be hard. So it's, you're supposed to make the hard decisions in your life to make you grow and to make you be the person, become the person that God put you here to be, man. And that's what I'm going through right now. People call it a midlife crisis. No, it's a, it's a check my life crisis, <laughs> you know, and trying to get to where I need to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. My calling, my my uh you know my reason for being here you know but uh not to get off topic man i told you just to go puff puffy chronicles so i'll be giving a little bit of me and what i'm going through and what i'm 
listening to and things like that, man. But always be building and growing, man. But uh, document the grind, document the hustle, man. Peace and love, health and wisdom, man. Stay puffing, stay hustling, get your money, man. Always be growing, man. You know, in all ways. Till Sunday. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Wretches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the streets and online. You know, today's hustle, man. I'm a GoPuff delivery driver, man. I'm on my way to the GoPuff warehouse trying to see how much time left on this phone. But yeah, man. I'm a go pub delivery driver I'm on my way to the warehouse right across the street, man. I was at the little store, man. I had to grab me a couple little utensils that I'm gonna need for the night. I got a seven and a half hour shift. You know, I work from uh, 5.30 to one tonight. You know, but it's only my third day this week. My third day this week, I'm at 32 deliveries. I'm eight deliveries away from getting a, uh, from getting, oh, it's a detour. I'm eight deliveries away from getting that uh, $80 bonus. I already got the $60 bonus. No, but uh, about to get in here and see what we can do real quick. You know, hopefully it's a big night. I know I'm at least get them eight deliveries to get that hundred dollar bonus. You know, but uh, yeah, man, I only work one more day. I only work one day next week, though. It's crazy. Like you pick your hours every Thursday, but we got so many drivers, man. People been beat me to the punch. Even though I got my alarm set to uh, at twelve thirty-five. The schedule don't come out to twelve forty-five. I got my alarm set and everything. I still was only able to grab one day this week, you know, kind of, kind of sorted, you know, I've been puffing so long, I think I, I know I got the most seniority out of everybody up here, but, you know, that's how I go, hopefully I can pick up a couple drop shifts, if not, I'm going to drive four days for Walmart this week, but, you know, tonight we're about to see how much money we can make, you know, I think I'm, uh, I think it's going to be like a little, like almost like a $500 check for like 22 hours, you know, not bad, but, uh, you know, I'm going to do an update every hour, man, see how much money we can pile up tonight. You know, document the grind, document the hustle. My bad, that's a lot of construction out here. <clears throat> What's going on? Welcome back to the 7.30 update. Man, I've been on the clock for two hours, man. You know, I started at 5.30 today. I'm off at 1. But, man, when I did that last update, well, <laughs> I'm tripping. It's the first update. But, man, it's puffing out here, man. I ain't bull, it ain't, I ain't playing, man. It's puffing out here. You know, uh, so far, I've been able to do eight deliveries. So far, I've been able to do eight deliveries, man. You know, with twenty-six dollars in delivery fees and twenty-eight dollars in tips, putting me at fifty-four dollars on the night. And I got the forty deliveries, man, to get that uh that hundred-dollar bonus, man. You know, already with them eight deliveries, I came in with thirty-two tonight. But yeah, man, it's, it's going real good, man. I think I only did. Let me see. I did eight deliveries tonight. I only I did 13 Tuesday and 19 on Monday. I think I'm gonna beat that 19. If I got eight deliveries in two hours, I'm pretty sure that I might get over that 19. You know, it's really it ain't that many drivers up here. It like it had got oversaturated with drivers. It was like I don't know, like eight to ten drivers working a shift. I don't know if they were just doing that to kind of weed out to see how many drivers they're gonna actually need per shift. I think they was, but uh, I've been getting questions on the GoPuff channel, man. Like. On the GoPub vlog, like, it fluctuating the pay. Like, we was at $8.50 for our subsidy. Now we at $12. But I talked to somebody today. Um, I think they deliver in Dallas. I can't remember the guy's name. But uh, I can't remember the person's name. But it was like, they got paid. They was getting $12.75 for their subsidy. And it dropped down to $9. And they, he asked me if ours dropped. Uh, so far it didn't. He said they got an email down there said they were dropping at three dollars off. I don't know if it's because I don't know if they not getting not busy or not getting a lot of volume of orders. I don't know, but I know it fluctuates because I also talked to somebody that said they know somebody in LA that's getting seventeen dollars an hour for the subsidy and they get thirty three cent a mile. You know, I'm like, man, that's amazing. We don't got nothing like that here, but I know the cost of living in California is way higher than it is here. You know, so maybe that's why they get that little extra boost. But uh, you know, twelve dollars an hour ain't bad to sit in my car even when it ain't busy. But right now we making twenty seven dollars an hour, you know, dropping off snacks, you know, told y'all making stacks, dropping off snacks. That's the motto, man, for real. Cause that's what I do, man. I'm at work right now, you know, this is work, this is work. You know, I don't I remember I was uh had to be in a hot ass paint booth, ten twelve hours powder coating. I remember I used to have to uh buff aluminum raw aluminum till it shine like chrome you know i did that for 
ten dollars an hour. I remember, uh, man, I, I, I remember lifting uh, splines, which is like I don't know, it's part of the engine block, man, for nine dollars an hour. Man, I know the you know the rate of pay done changed, you know, since I was doing them jobs. But man, I used to do some hard labor, man, for like way less money. So this for twelve dollars, I don't even care if I. I mean, I do want to make more than that, but I'm chilling right now. I just turned on this book called The Iron Wheel. I'm only like two minutes into it. Um, it's by, uh, it's an older book. It's by Orson Sweat Marsden. I think I'm saying that right. Or I had to have to pop up anyway. But uh, yeah, man, that's where I'm at. And right now we have $54 in two hours, man. You know, I still got uh, five more hours on the clock, man. So this is definitely going to be a, a nice night. But yeah, I'm going to get back on y'all at 930 with an update. Welcome back to the 9.30 update. You know, your boy been on the clock for four hours now, man. And so far, you know, when I did the last update, I was at eight deliveries, man, for uh, $54, you know, making about $27 an hour. You know, in these last two hours, man, it definitely slowed down. Is this my order right here? No. Um, it definitely slowed down, man. I only did uh, three orders in this past two hours. Putting me at 11 on the night, man. 35 75 in delivery fees, $34 in tips for a grand total of 69 75 You know, in four hours, you know, that's like, uh, I usually had a mad Freddy, man. I've been, I've been playing right about four, $17.43. So we took, we got a $10 haircut in this past hour, man. We was making 27 for the first two down to 1743 you know still good puffy money you know take two dollars out an hour for the gas it's still 15 some so you know i ain't tripping man you know i'm sitting out here these last two hours been so slow I'm, I'm almost finished with that book that i was listening to by orison sweat marsden you know uh the iron wheel you know it's uh basically like talking about it's giving different examples of people that had strong will and strong character throughout history too you know uh, and talking about childhood experiences and experiences that they had in their adult life like Napoleon Stonewall Jackson um, a couple more people that I'm uh, forgetting right now but it's just letting you know yeah sorry about that yeah it's letting you know about you know the will that they had and things like that to persevere man you know uh, she said uh person reading the book man she got a good reading voice but she said persistent persistent persistence you know and just being confident you know um just saying how being confident in all your moves and everything that you do and for real not being scared of change and you know being st stuck and grounded in your beliefs and what they are and not being able to be dis dismayed or you know have anybody you know have any type of persuasion and you know stopping what you know that you are capable of doing you know kind of thing you know ain't trying to philosophize nothing but you know 69.75 man but you know i might five minutes from finishing the book it's only an hour and 10 minutes it's a good book you know like i see drawing off other people experiences to uh so what will is and what true determination is but i'm gonna get back on y'all at 11 30 man um with another update that's two hours from now you know See how I go. 69.75 on 11 deliveries. We already at the $80 bonus. See how much more we can put on the board. What's going on? Welcome back to the 11:30 update, man. I've been on the clock six hours so far, man. You know, I've been pumping in these last two hours, man. You know, man, I've been pumping a little bit, man. But uh, when I did that last update, I was at eight deliveries for 69.75 making about 17 43 or something like that an hour you know in these last two hours man it went crazy man i did 70 we're well, not crazy but you know this been my biggest two hour block of the night i did seven orders in the last two hours you know putting me at 18 on the night 50 on the week you know and i'm at 58 50 in delivery charges and 51 dollars in tips that's totally up to tally up to 109 50 you know in six hours you know that's like what is that like it's kind of me about eh, 109 i usually had this ready man i've been lacking 50 divided by six 
1825, so you know, with the nighttime drivers on, we got a little 80 cent raise, man. You know, but uh, I'm on my way back to the Puffy shop right now. I've been listening, you know what I'm saying, to this uh, to these other uh, this other Go Puff driver. Uh, I can't remember what they name. Uh, I think her name is Single Mom Hustle, but she only got one video on there. I'll be trying to see what other people are doing with their Go Puff video, and I ain't gonna lie, you know. But I listened to one of her videos. She just did her first day, I think. And it, it, it wasn't like a full, you know, there ain't no more videos of it, you know. I kept going with this the Puffy Chronicles, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, I just listened to that. And I also just turned on uh, Velocity Writing. I'm trying to write a book this year. Well, I'm going to write a book. I'm, you know, I take the, take the word trials and vocabulary. They say no man should have try. Either you're going to do it, you're not. You know, you're going to do it, you're not going to do it not try you know but i'm gonna write a book this year you know what i'm saying i'm gonna write i'm gonna write my first screenplay this year you know but uh basically i'm listening to velocity writing is teaching you how to like like it was basically saying how ernest, ernest hemingway who was a famous writer used to write his like his techniques that's what i was just listening to and uh basically going over the format and the, how to put together your first book and how to write you know to make to get the most bang out your words and not just be writing you know some stuff that people ain't even gonna read but that's where i'm at right now you know i started a book i'm trying to i gotta finish it you know it's called millionaire in a bucket i ain't even looked in that in there about about three four months man i don't even know where i left off at but i gotta find a notebook and get back to it but that's where we at we have 109.50 hour and a half left definitely going you know gonna be like a five six hundred dollar check man for 22 hours man not bad for the puff you know but i'm back on my way back up here i'm gonna do another update on the way to the crib let y'all know where that money at what's going on welcome back to the one o'clock update man i'm on my way to the house man you know it's been a nice little puffy night you know got to the money tonight man it's been the best night i had in a while man you know i ain't kill him but i had a good night but uh yeah man when i did the uh, last update i was at 18 deliveries for uh, it ain't no cars on the street neither right now i swear like <laughs> for real but when i did the last update i was at 18 deliveries for 109 dollars and 50 cent you know making about 18 dollars and 25 cent an hour you know since then, man, I've been able to uh, do another four deliveries, man. Putting me at 22 on the night. You know, 54 on the week to close out the week, you know, because it's, you know, it's the last day of the pay week. You know, I, I meant to mention that at the beginning, you know, uh, the shift run from Sunday to Monday. Or uh, Monday to Sunday, rather. But, uh, yeah, put me at 54 deliveries on the week, man. It's going to close out the week for uh, $71.50 in delivery fees, $60 in tips, total of $131.50, you know? So we was making $18.25 two hours ago. Now I think we had uh, about $17.50, something like that. You know, not a bad night. You know, I only work one day next week. I, I would, the uh, girl wanted me to stay to three, well, she kind of insinuated that came up yawn and asked me what time I'd get off, you know, thinking I'm going to just throw out the fishing line, like, you want me to stay the three for you? Nah. I'm out of there. I did my seven and a half. Seven and a half a long day. It started to feel like real work. We only did it three days this week. I kind of like to keep my shift six hour, six hour blocks go so fast. These, these, today went fast anyway. You know, steady, it was constant. You know, 22 orders. That's a lot, you know, uh, that's back to how it used to be. Like every night was at least 20 or more, you know. But uh, I still ain't been able to beat my best, which is 40 in a night. I don't think I'm gonna never beat that again because it, it be so many drivers now, you know. I got that when it was like, these like three drivers on the ship one night, you know, and I, I killed it. But yeah, 22 ain't bad. You know, you gonna get like a, uh, she'll be like a $600 check for these, you know, these uh, 22 hours that I did this week. You know, finished out the night listening to Sai Guru. You know, I don't know if you know who that is, but you know, he got a lot of insight on a lot of different things, you know. A lot of different things, you know. Over here, he's listening to him. Talking about how to stop procrastinating, man, because that's, that's definitely what my biggest, I think that's everybody's biggest, uh, 
downfall is the procrastination, you know. You can have a plan, but you know, a plan without no execution is like shit, just having a bucket of acorns, it ain't doing nothing for you. <laughs> for real. Straight up, man. But uh man, not to get off topic, man, you know, been a nice little puffy night, man. $131 ain't bad money, I'll take it. And then I got all week off. Well, I don't. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna just drive for Walmart. And then, you know, hopefully I can get a couple more hours. We gonna see how it go, man. I ain't tripping. You know, I sell. I'll do eBay all week. eBay, Walmart. But uh, document the grind. Document the hustle, man. I'm gonna get back on y'all. Shit, Sunday. Peace and love, help and wisdom, man. Stay puffing. Stay hustling. Get your money. going on welcome back to the channel rookie riches where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money man on the street sand online man you know but today is hustle man i'm a go pump delivery driver man i'm on my way to this go pump warehouse you know right across the street i gotta check in at 5 30 you know my shift 5 30 to 1 a day little seven and a half hour shift you know about to get over here and see what we can do tonight, man. I only work, I work 22 hours this week. I got uh, three, seven and a half hour days. You know, I, I ain't work at all last week. I was supposed to work uh, yesterday, but I only had one day, so I ended up giving it up. You know, I had one of my homeboys from a long time ago come in town, man. We kicked it, you know, casino. I ain't even know I should have said that casino. I lost almost 200 at that casino. But yeah, man, we up here at uh, Go Puff right now. I'm at the warehouse. We're gonna see how much money we can power up tonight, you know. And I'm gonna do an update. I probably just do them every two hours since I'm on a seven and a half hour shift, though. But uh, yeah, man, I'm uh two weeks, man. I was two weeks, no alcohol, no tobacco, no meat. I'm still ain't ate no meat in two weeks, you know. God is the greatest, you know, for the discipline to do that. But I'm uh, I, was, I slipped up. My people was up here, man. We kicked it, man. Went fishing, casino, had a couple drinks, bar, you know. And I end up smoking a couple black and mild cigarettes, you know. But I'm back on it. I ain't smoked today. I ain't drunk today. And I'm, you know, I'm chilling. But I'm going to do another update in two hours, man. Let y'all know where we at. But two weeks, no meat. Again, you know, starting over. What's going on? Welcome back to the 730 update, man. You know, this is my first update of the night. But, uh, man, it's, it's going all right, man. It ain't really killing them, but it ain't slow, you know. I, know I was uh, able to do five deliveries in these uh, two hours, man. Um, I only seen four drivers on, so unless some of them guys be, some of the, our drivers be parking in the back, and I don't even know, you know how many. It'd be like two, three on back there. So sometimes I think it's three drivers on the clock, and it'd be like three more drivers parked in the back. You know, a little crew be parking and chopping it up together. But uh, I think it's only uh, four drivers on right now. It might be one in the back, but uh, I got an order coming out right now. But uh, I did five deliveries, man, for twenty six dollars and twenty five cents. Yeah, um, yeah, yep. There you go. I'm making about uh, thirteen sixty two an hour, man. You know, not bad money after the first two hours. It is being real consistent. I just got another order right now. You know, been kind of consistent. You know, so I ain't complaining. I got the uh, Jim Rohn book. I just turned it on though. Um, it's called uh, Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I think I got that title right, but I have, have it pop up. But I just turned it on. You know, I was listening to, uh, I told you, I'm trying to do this Amazon FBA, so I was watching Amazon FBA videos before I turned on the Jim Rohn book. But I'm about to go ahead and listen to that. It's about a three hour listen, so I might finish it tonight. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do another update at 9.30. But right now, we have five deliveries for $26.25. You know, making about thirteen sixty two an hour, man. I'm gonna update at nine thirty. Let y'all know where I'm at, man. Document the grind. Document the hustle. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to the nine thirty update, man. You know, oh man, these is some, these speed bumps is like three feet high, man. I just went over one too fast. I know y'all heard the bottom of my car just hit, but uh, yeah, man. When I did that last update, I was at five deliveries, you know, nighttime drivers on, but I was at five deliveries for $26.25, making about, you know, $13.62 an hour or something like that. You know, since then, in the last two hours, I did four deliveries, you know, putting me at 
nine on a night for $42.25, I believe, man, you know. So, you know, we took a little pay cut. You know, we was making a uh, 13, now we only making about 10, 56 or something like that. You know, I meant to, uh, I'm taping off the phone and I'm using to do the job. Usually I got my other phone, but I had to use this phone. I ain't had time to stop at the house today. But yeah, man, I'm making about 10, 56 an hour, but GoPuff gonna give me that extra dollar 44 on top of that for the subsidy to make sure I'm at least making 12 an hour. You know, that's how the subsidy work. Yeah, man, that's where we at right now. It ain't really pumping like that, but it's a cool little smooth night. I'm only one delivery away from getting that forty dollar bonus. You know, almost. Uh, you know, one more order for ten orders. Hopefully, we can get to twenty tonight, though. You know, I am here to. Uh, I got like, what was that three and a half more hours left? So we gonna see how I go, man. I'm here to one o'clock tonight, so we gonna. You know, we might be able to get. Uh, then that's four and a half more. Hours. We might be able to get. Three, that's three and a half more. We might be able to get to 20 to get that $60 bonus. You know, I still got the Jim Rohn book plan. You know, the five five pieces to life. I can't see it. I don't want to. The five major pieces to, to the life puzzle. I think that's what it's called. I can't really see it. I'm driving it. You know, I've been doing a lot. But he said failure is the result of bad thinking over and over. Like, just like when a kid put their hand on the stove feel that it's hot. you like, why, why grown-ups can't apply that same thing with alcohol and with, with smoking and things like that. You know, we, we know people die from smoking and supposed to sort of living from drinking and all that. But yeah, we still do it. You know, like it's not, it's like not believing that the, the eye is hot like a kid, you know. Even though you see people die, you know, you still choose to indulge in it. You know, it's crazy like the habits you pick up and it'd be so hard to break just because you're used to doing them. Like, I'm still, like, it's crazy. I've been able to go 30 days without eating meat, but I ain't went 30 days without smoking a cigarette or drinking no alcohol yet. This past year, I've been fighting that since I started doing the vlog, you know, but uh, I keep starting out, man. You know, I'm keep going until I, I crack it, man. You know, that's my goal to go 30 days and, and hope, I want it to be a life-changing thing. You know, um, I've been smoking almost 20 years, man. But not to get off topic, man. We're only making about 1056, man. But uh gotta give y'all some of me on the uh, Puffy Chronicles, man. You know what I'm going through out here in life. Got on the beat up nighttime drivers, man, the ones I ran over. But uh yeah, man. Failure, man. It's poison thinking over and over. You keep poison acting. You keep doing the same thing, man, for real, man. Get out of that, man. You're trying to you're trying to build a pro, man. Straight up, man. But uh, I'm gonna get back on y'all in two hours, man. Jim Rome be having me motivated. He one of the guys that I found. Man, just, just looking for, for man change in life. You know, a lot of these authors I listen to. But I'm gonna do another update at 11:30, man. That's in two hours. Let y'all know. Get some more of this game. I just what's going on? Welcome back to the 12 o'clock update, man. I was supposed to update at 11:30, man. Got to talking to my co-workers, man. You know, they gave me some little. I was talking about some other things. They gave me some little, you know, some little uh, canna cannabis infused Kool-Aid. I'm gonna try it out when I go home. <laughs> you know, I ain't trying to be, you know, faded while I'm on the buff. But uh, yeah, man, when I did the last update, I was at nine deliveries for uh, $42.25, I believe. You know, and it's passed out in these past two and a half hours. Two hours, and two and a half hours. I did uh, make. I was making about ten dollars, you know. In this past two and a half hours, I did another six deliveries, man, putting me at fifteen on the night. You know, I'm only five away from getting that sixty dollar bonus, you know, that you get for the first twenty orders you get of the week. But uh, yeah, man, I'm uh at seventy six dollars and seventy five cent, man. So we got a little bump in pay. I think I'm at like eleven dollars and. I think like 80 cents or something like that. But you know, it's been a little smooth night. Uh, we only be doing these little one orders though, you know. But I drove for Walmart earlier, man. I uh, I did probably two and a half hours over there today too. Uh, yeah, about, maybe about two hours. I ain't drive that long. But, uh, I did like four deliveries over there. They had like this bonus program. You get an extra $20 for complete four deliveries. So I made sure I did both. I probably made like $80 in two hours over there. And I'm doing this today. So, you know, getting money all over, over, over the books. I still got a Walmart tag in here, man, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, 
that's where we at right now. I'm on my way back to the puffy shop. I got one more hour on the clock. We're gonna see what happens in this last hour. I thought I could get five in an hour, but it has happened before. But uh, yeah, man, I still got the Jim Rohn book plan. You know, I'm only about, I think I only got like maybe an hour or a little less than an hour left on the book. It was only a three and a half hour visit. I would have finished it if I wouldn't talk, talk to my coworker, man, about this, you know, this cannabis infused too late. I can't wait to try when I get to the crib, man. But uh, yeah, man, he, it's a couple quotes out that book I wanted to hit y'all with, man. He say, discipline is the requirement, is a requirement for progress, man. That's, I, that's definitely, I feel that 100%, man. And they say, the decisions we make today will lead to the rewards or regrets that we have in the future. You know, just powerful, man. Building, growing, man. Just getting mentally strong, man. Shit, going to the gym, getting physically strong, man, getting everything together, man. So it's working as a machine that God intended it to be. But uh, not to get off the topic, man. We have $76, man, 75 cents, making about 11 80 an hour, out here puffing. What's going on? Welcome back to the 12 o'clock ride to the house video, man. I had to stop at the gas station real quick. But yeah, man, when I did that last update, which was only an hour ago, I was at 15 deliveries. For seventy six dollars and twenty five cent, you know, in this past hour, in the past hour, I only did two more deliveries, put me at seventeen on the night, only three away from getting that sixty dollar bonus though, which is wonderful, you know. But uh, I was making eleven eighty, I believe. You know, I did two more deliveries in this past hour, and it put me at eighty seven dollars and twenty five cent on the night. You know, not a horrible night, but you know, like I said, I was able to get that $40 bonus. I could stay over and probably get three more orders to get that, uh, go ahead and get that $60 bonus, but I'm gonna go and take it in the house. So I can still got about 15 minutes left on the clock, but I already called up there. He said he good, so he good. I'm on my way back to the crib. Back to the crib. You know? Look, it was a smooth little night. 17 deliveries ain't bad. I had days where I did like seven a couple weeks ago. Like, it had slowed up a little bit. So, 17 ain't bad. You know, keep documenting the grind, documenting the hustle, though. I had the Jim Rohn book playing. I only got like 40 minutes left. I'm going to finish that tonight before I go to sleep. You know, I'll just be listening to these people, man. They be motivating me, man, to... You know, because I know it's a greater life out here for me, man. For all of us, man. It's all about the people who got the discipline to pursue it, though. You know, that's what a lot of this is about. Your discipline, man. You know, I just read this quote, man. I'm mad I can't remember it verbatim. But it was a quote. Oh, man, I'm mad I can't even remember what he said, man. I got to look it back up. It was an Instagram quote. But it was just basically about... Sometimes you gotta isolate to elevate, you know what I'm saying? Like, get away from people and how they, you know, just, just to get your stuff together, man. Cause like, you can't worry about what people be is used to you being like, man. You really gotta be looking at what's the best for you, man. What's your next chapter in your life? You know what I'm saying? Cause we only gonna, we only get to live this life one time. So we can't keep living like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just gonna last forever, man. Like. When do you check yourself and get rid of bad habits and bad thoughts and things like that, man? You know, it got to come at some point in time, you know, for real. But I ain't trying to kick knowledge, man. But this is what I'll be going through on the Puffy Life, man. The Puffy Chronicles, man. You know, <laughs> for real, man. Just trying to get, get it together, man. For real, man. I want everybody to win, you know. Shake all bad habits, all vices, all of that. Don't wait to New Year's, man. Do it now. I got this book that I'm reading. You know, I gotta get. I'm gonna get back to reading it tonight or probably tomorrow. But uh, I'm about about 80 pages into it. It's called "Someday Is Not a Day of the Week." You know, ten hacks to make the rest of your life your best, the best of your life. You know, it's by Sam Horn. I've got this book and I got like two more other books. They told me, you know, read. 10, 20, read 20 minutes a day. I can read 20 books a year, you know. So I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna start reading more than that, though. But yeah, document the grind, document the hustle, man. $87.25 made about 11 60 an hour, man. Get back on y'all tomorrow with another.
going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the street sand online. You know what you're looking at today, man. I'm a GoPuff delivery driver, man. I just got to the warehouse. I was about 10 minutes late today, man. I had to stop and get me something to eat, man. It was taking all day to make some ramen noodles, man. You know, I went to this place called Ramen and Rice up here, man. You know, I just looked at it, man. They just gave me some oodles of noodles for $10. I say they killing them. They killing them. I don't know what the... uh. The ROI return on investment is on that. Because these ain't nothing but oodles of noodles. But man, you know, this is a GoPuff vlog, man. Last night. What up, cuz? What's happening? Hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Love y'all. Hello. Yeah, my family just pulled up. Sorry about that. Got off a little topic. But uh, yeah, man. About to get in here and see how much we can do tonight. Last night I did like eighty-seven dollars, man. Eighty-seven twenty-five, you know, um, thirty-two dollars in tips and fifty-five dollars and twenty-five cent commission. You know, the three twenty-five that we get per delivery, and I did seventeen deliveries. I'm only three away from getting twenty. You know, that'll give me sixty dollar bonus. You know, I'm, I'm probably gonna at least get that eighty dollar bonus tonight. I guarantee I do thirteen deliveries. You know, I only need thirty to get that. I might even be able to get that hundred dollar bonus, which is forty. But we gonna see what happened tonight, man. You know, my shift is uh five thirty to one, little seven and a half hour shift. You know, I do got me a couple uh PlayStation three games to list for when it is slow. You know, I got Star Wars three, the Clone Wars Lego. I got a uh, Jack and Daxter. I think that go for about thirty dollars. Jack and Daxter collection. I think I just looked. I looked it up when I bought it. Uh, South Park, the Stick and the Truth. I got Escape Dead Island. I got Minecraft. That's always like a $20 game. I got Call of Duty Black Ops and I got Portal 2. You know, I probably got about $70, $80 in games. Nine, but I, only, eight, I got them from seven, Salvation seven, Army. I only paid. Zero, nine, I only seven, paid. Uh, zero. What did I pay for them? I only paid uh, $14. And it's like seven games. So I'm definitely going to double my money up. But yeah, we, I'm going to get back on y'all in two hours, man. Document the grind, document the hustle. I'm a little scattered today, but it's going to all work out smooth. What's going on? Welcome back to the 7.30 update, man. You know, I've been on the clock for two hours now, man. So far, it ain't really pumping like that, man. You know, I'm at about... I did four deliveries so far, man. You know, four deliveries. And I'm at, uh, I'm at, uh, let me see, her, uh, on that Tommy Strong. Rest in peace. But, uh, I'm at $13 in delivery charges, man. You know, because I did four deliveries, 325 times four. And I'm at $7 in tips, man. Bringing me up $20 on a date. You know, in two hours, that's like making like $10 an hour, man. But, you know, we get $12 an hour for the subsidy just for our time for being there. So, we're going to have to make that right. Give me that extra little $4 on top of that, you know, to make a long story. Yeah, they got to give me that extra little $4 on top of that to get me right, you know, to make a long story short. You know, I had lost my camera. had cut out for a minute. I had to restart. But, yeah, man, that's where we at. I'm listening to Brian Trey talking about setting these goals. I'm about to do this. I keep saying, man, I started doing it. But he said, write down the 10 goals that you want to accomplish the most in this next year, man. He said, write them down every day, every day. It's even about putting that pen or that paper, man. Do something to your subconscious, man, and make you start putting together plans on how you can get get to them goals, you know. But doing it every day, I think being consistent at it, it's going to, it, it got to trigger some because you actually... Every time you write that down, you actually getting that thought of like, damn, how can I make this possible? You know, so that's what I'm taking out of that, you know, setting goals, man, for real. Wish I'd have been setting goals, man. You know, I got a little older and now it's time to, time to bite down and lock in on life, you know. But uh, not to get off topic, man, it's a GoPuff blog, the Puffy Chronicles. You know, we had $20 after two hours, man. You know, with $24 with the subsidy. But I'm going to do another update. At 9 30 man let y'all know where this puffy money at what's going on welcome back to the 9 30 update man your boy been on the clock for uh four hours man you know when i did that last update i was at uh was it, four deliveries for twenty dollars man making about ten dollars an hour you know with the subsidy nighttime drives on these the brokers man gotta get my other ones from the house 
But you know, I was at twenty dollars on four deliveries. I ended up doing three more, and that's uh, past two hours, man. It's just slow, man. It's a lot of drivers up here too. But I ended up doing three more deliveries, putting me at forty-one seventy-five, man. You know, it ain't really pumping like that. You know, it's a lot of drivers on, but it just ain't pumping like that neither, though. Like, you know, they probably only did about six or seven, eight sell for these last four hours. You know. I'm on my way back to the Puffy shop right now, coming through downtown. But uh, yeah, man, I'm still uh, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen in these next, you know, three and a half hours. But hopefully it pick up, man. You know, usually after nine o'clock it get more busy, man. But uh, that ain't been the case today or yesterday. You know, it been kind of slow. But it been letting me let me grow in here, listening to the Brian Tracy talk about goals, man. It's my way you set your goals. Know, uh, write down plans that's gonna take you. Write down a list of plans that you're gonna have to do to get to that goal, man. Like, for real, like, man, do like real strategic, like, with his approach, you know. But, uh, I mean, he rich, <laughs> you know. So, uh, I'm, I'm listening to people that, that I aspire to be like Andy. He got a lot of ways, but not just passing, making a lot of money, you know, off of just, just gaining knowledge. But, uh, I think he's a good speaker, and you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a couple people, man, that I listen to on a regular. Eric Thomas, Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Ben Zig Ziglar. I, I just, you know, I just ain't been able to find no new Zig. I heard a lot of Zig, but, you know, I ain't heard everything. But I probably got to, you know, download something else. I, I'm trying to get the book, see you at the top. That's probably going to be the next Zig Ziglar uh, thing I listen to. But, yeah, man, it's all about motivation and elevation, man, for real. Like, feel like I've been driving around in this car for almost two years, man, just listening to books, pounding, pounding, exercising my mind, man. You know, for real, like, I done learned a lot, man. And like I said, dude, say anything, you study for an hour a day, you know what I'm saying, for five years, you can become a master at, you know. So my thing is, like, trying to bite down and find that and then reading it, man. I'm telling you, man, I'm turned this to a college, man. I'm, I'm got me a two-year associate's degree, man, and probably psychology in this, in this car, man. But uh, not to get off topic, man, it's the Buffy Chronicles. But I'm bored. It's slow tonight. Seven deliveries in four hours ain't really kicking, man. You know, that ain't kicking. But uh, I'm going to get back on y'all at uh, 11.30, man, let y'all know. I was able to list some things on eBay. Matter of fact, I listed uh, that game tripping. I ain't even hear you. Uh, Jack and Daxter that go for thirty dollars, man. With a high man, the low man was twenty seven dollars, and everybody else was like twenty to twenty eight fifty, something like that. I listed mine for twenty nine. It was a guy on there like thirty one thirty. I came in on the middle, and like I said, I only paid fourteen dollars for like eight games, so I'm gonna double up on one game, you know, even minus the shipping. You know, always hustling. I don't, I don't mind when it's slow. But I'm gonna do another update, man. 11:30, man. You know what's going on? Welcome back to the 11:30 update, man. You know I've been on the clock for six hours now, man. You know uh, when I did that last update, we was four hours in, and we only did seven orders, man. Seven orders, man. In four hours, man. That ain't you know that ain't really doing too good for 41.75. You know in this past two hours i did another three <laughs> i did another three orders man put me at 10 on the night man the puff been kind of slow man i ain't gonna lie you know i worked for walmart yesterday and in like three hours i did 85 dollars you know what i'm saying and here it is tonight i've been on the clock for six hours and i only made 60 dollars right now so that's like 10 dollars an hour man you figure i made 85 and three hours. I just looked on there today. I had like $27 in tips. You know, I had got $60 for just doing four trips. You know, it's still where I'm at right now, you know, um, after six hours. But, uh, you know, I ain't tripping, man. Sometimes it be slow. I've been able to uh, sit in here and grow a little bit each and every day, you know, with the books I be listening to, man. You know, just, I'm almost done with the Brian Tracy. I think I got about 25 more minutes. So I'm gonna definitely finish that, you know, uh, tonight, the next 25 minutes, that'll be out of there. But uh, yeah, man, that's where I'm at, man, trying to uh, make this next year, man. This 2022 gonna be a big year, man. Try to make my first million. I'm gonna make my first million. He said put a date on it. You know, he said write 
write your goals down as if they already in, in action. Like, I have a million dollars by such and such date. You know, I weigh such and such by such and such date. You know, like with your physical goals and all of that, you know, you start putting a date on it. I think I'll listen to a lot of these, like excerpts from this, this book or seminar, whatever it is on YouTube. But, um, you know, this is everything compiled together. So I got a little couple more nuggets. But yeah, you can't put a, put a day on it, man. And just, you know, write it like it's already in existence, man. For real. Like, and that's, uh, that's, that's, that's why I know this next year, man. Because I've been putting off a lot of stuff. It's time to bite down and buckle, buckle down, man. And really get to it. But uh, not to get off topic, man. I got another update, man. At 1 o'clock when I go home. I'm going to let y'all know where that money at. But right now, we only at $60, man. After uh, six hours, man. I got another hour and a half to go. I'm three deliveries away from getting that 30 or two. I might, yeah, I'm three deliveries away from getting that 30, which is the $80 bonus. And I don't work again until Sunday. You know, I work Monday, Tuesday. Then I don't come all the way back till Sunday. So only three day week. But uh, I'm going to do another update. One o'clock when I ride to the house, let y'all know where that money at, man. <clears throat> What's going on? Welcome back to the one o'clock ride to the house video, man. I'm on my, uh, way to the crib man i just stopped at the gas station man i ran on my gas so you know but man when i did that last update i was at 10 deliveries for 60 dollars man making about 10 dollars an hour you know i was 10 i was six hours in so that came out to like 10 dollars an hour math real simple on that but you know since then i did another four deliveries man it was a slow night man you know i did 17 last night 14 tonight that put me at 31 on the week, so I did at least crack that $80 bonus, and I got one more day to work this week, which is Sunday, but that's four days away, so I'm gonna definitely get that $100 bonus. No, I'm gonna definitely do nine on Sunday, but uh, that's usually one of the big days. But yeah, man, I did 14 deliveries on the night, $45 in delivery fees, 38, $45.50 in delivery fees. You know, the 325 times 14, and then I did $38 in tips, bringing me up to what? 83.50, man. <laughs> in like seven hours, man. Uh, You know, it's like 12, a little under $12 an hour, you know, seven times 12, yeah, it's 84, 83.50. You know, not a bad night. I was able to really listen to my book, you know, chill. But, uh, man, it's crazy. I made more than this doing I'm, I'm starting to evaluate my options i might start doing more walmart you know than go puff you know and then like it seemed like ever since we changed management since we changed gms you know all of the shifts is like real long like you know that's one of the things i used to love about uh, that i did love about having this job is it was like four and six hour blocks three hour blocks five hour blocks like short blocks like you could have another job and be doing this you know, now the, uh, the shift is kind of long. Like, it's starting to feel too much like work being somewhere for seven and a half, eight hours, you know. That's one of the reasons I got out that structured environment. But I'm going to talk to my GM and just tell them, you know, we only open from 10 a.m. to uh, 3 a.m. So that's like, what is that, 17 hours a day. So break them shifts up, you know, to like smaller shifts, you know. Don't nobody want to be nowhere for no eight hours, seven and a half hours. But, you know. It was a good little little puffy night, man. Uh, I ended up listening to the Brian Tracy book, you know, trying to get my mind on goal setting, man, because uh, this year going to be a big year, man. I'm about to have, like, I want to, at the end of this year, I'm going to speak like Brian Tracy said. I'm going to have, like, 20 streams of income. You know, watch. From the dividend stocks to the, to the gold puff to the Walmart, to the eBay, to the Amazon, to the Teespring. You know, I ain't even sold a T-shirt yet. Y'all help your boy out. Go buy a shirt <laughs> from Rookie Riches, man. That Teespring, man. Just type in Rookie Riches. That's my stuff. You know, I ain't sold a T-shirt yet, but it's coming, man. I keep making them, so eventually they're going to start selling, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, I, uh, shit, man, it's cool, man. But that's one of my goals, man. I'm going to start writing them down every day, like he said, man. Not just write them down once and then read them. Write them down. He said write them down in the morning. And write them down at night before you go to bed. You know, I'm listening to you know how successful people think, man. Like John Maxwell says, Brian Tracy is a successful person. So he's saying how he plan and get his goals together. So 
I'm listening to how successful people think, man, for real, man. You know, today matters on the John Maxwell tip, too. You know, but, you know, I ain't with failing, you know, unless I'm failing forward like a John Maxwell book, man. You know, I'll be here listening to these these authors, man. They be inspirational to me, man. For real, man. And here, even when it is slow puff. But not to get off topic, man, I'm at a... Uh, we did, we had 31 deliveries, man, in two days. I'm a right to do 35 in a night sometimes. 40, 40 the most I did in a night. But I done had like three or four nights over 30. I don't know how many nights over 25 and, and shit. And definitely over 20. Like, I, you know, that used to just be a regular thing. But, uh, you know, it's cool, man. They done got more drivers. School is back in, I think, next week. So, gonna see how it go man we'll keep it puffing i am going to orlando florida next week you know but uh i'm gonna get back on y'all man going down to the disney world man see donald duck and all of them man you know mickey and Minnie, y'all and <laughs> you know it's gonna be fun man i ain't never been to florida but uh i'm gonna get back on y'all man sunday i'm off for the next four days i might do a walmart video tomorrow though you know document the grind document the hustle man salute man to all the hustlers <clears throat>
for real. You know, straight up. They're one of the other drivers. But uh, yeah, they got this one way. It's blocked off rather. But uh, yeah, man, persistence on whatever you're doing is what gets you to what you, your ultimate goal gonna be. You know, for real, man. And uh, just staying committed to whatever your goal is. You know, and you also, man, they, I, they, man, everybody I listen to keep reiterating, write down what you want, what you want to have. You know what I'm saying? Like visualize it. You know, and that's what he's talking about right now. I'm only like 10 minutes into the uh, book, but. I think it's a seminar, it ain't a book. But I'm um, listening to that right now. I'm going to get back on y'all at 7 o'clock with an update. Hopefully, we'll be done made some more money. But right now, we only made $12 that first hour. What's going on? Welcome back to the 8 o'clock update. Man, I've been on the clock for three hours, man. And man, man, it's, it's, it's going bad out here. It's slow puffing, you know, but I'm still making money. So I ain't, I ain't really tripping. You know, I'm out here building and growing. But uh, man, in this past, the last time I did an update, I hadn't done an order at all in that first hour. In these past two hours, cause it's eight o'clock, I did that last update at six o'clock. In these past two hours, man, I did uh, two orders, man, for 1150. <laughs> 11.50, you know, but GoPuff, they gonna give me that, uh, you know, they, they pay $12 an hour. So all these hours that I'm not getting no orders, you know, I'm still making money. So I'm still made, you know, if I'm at eleven fifty, they gonna give me that, uh, what is that? Um, 20, 24 50 to make it $36 to make sure I'm at least making 12. So I'm still making money, but you know, I use my time different than other people use their time up here. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to say I, I'm doing it no better, but you know, I just occupy my time different. But uh, yeah, man, I'm in here. I'm at $36 with the subsidy. I'm only at two orders in three hours, man. It's real low. And it's like every, it's like seven cars up here right now, plus me. Let me see, one, two, three, on the back side, one right here. It's like, I'm the seven, it's seven drivers up here right now, man. It, it's, I think it's eight. Somebody just took an order, but uh, man, I don't know where I'm at in the rotation. I'm just sitting here listening to this book, man, by Shiv Kara. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm going to have it pop up, though. But, uh, man, he uh, the book is called You Can Win, a step-by-step -step tool for top achievers, you know. That's what it is. You know, you can win. A step-by-step -step tool for top achievers, man. That's the type of stuff I be on, man. Like, for real, man, I don't know where God taking me, man, but it's going to – I ain't seen my plate, man. I know it's coming, man. But I wrote down a couple – uh since I got time today, man, this is, you know, I'm up there slow puffing. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple quotes that he uh, said in that book, man. He says, success did not mean an absence of problems. It is overcoming problems. You know, that's by Shiv Kerber right there. And uh, he had a quote by Plato, truths are eternal. Man, that's so powerful right there, man, for real. And then the last one I'm going to leave you with, he had a quote from uh, Theodore Roosevelt, man. It says, dreams are a dime a dozen. It's the execution that counts. And that's by Theodore Roosevelt, man. You know, for real, man. Uh, man, that's crazy. Because everybody be having, like, dreams and they don't be executing. Like, people that execute their dreams is NBA players, NFL players. Um, just at the top of their field and whatever they in, you know. But they had their dream and they executed the, whatever the practice was, whatever they had to do extra to get to that, that point. They did it. You know, like you can have you can have all kinds of dreams, but if you ain't doing nothing pushing towards it, man, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna never make it. You ain't gonna never get to it. You know, um and shit. That's what I call myself doing, pushing towards dreams. And you know, people see me in this go puff, you know, I don't know. I don't really care because I know what, what my destiny is. But uh I'm a go puff driver. I ain't no young dude. I'm I'm out here I'm just, you know, I'm good where I'm at, you know. But uh not to get off topic, man. This is a go puff grind, it's the puffy chronicles too though, uh we had 11.50, man, with $36 after this, you know, with the subsidy. But I'm gonna do another update, man. I'm gonna wait two hours, man. Hopefully something be done happen. But I only did two deliveries in three hours. It ain't looking good right now, you know, but it pick up usually at like nine o'clock though. So we gonna see, hopefully that's the case tonight. What's going on? Welcome back to the 10 o'clock update, man. I've been on the clock for five hours, man. You know, the last update I did was, you know, I was three hours in. It was like eight o'clock, man. I, and I was at uh, 
think I was at 11.50 on two deliveries, man. It was looking real bad out here. You know, it ain't looking too much better right now, but, you know, I did get a couple more orders. You know, um, I was at 11.50, you know, with that subsidy that I was explaining, you know, that it had to take me up to $36. But, you know, since then, man, I did another three deliveries. <laughs> you know, five deliveries on a night. That's like a delivery an hour, man. It's real slow, man. But like I said, it's a lot of drivers, but shit, everybody had about five or six deliveries. It's just really ain't ain't jumping tonight, for real. Um, but I'm at thirty. I'm at sixteen twenty five, and delivery fees at three twenty five we get, and I'm at twenty two dollars in tips, you know. But thirty two eighty five, man. For thirty eight twenty five, my bad. Uh, but after five hours, man, that ain't that ain't really nothing, you know. But uh, Gold Club, like I said, they, they is going to give me that extra $22.75 to round me out to $60. Make that $12 an hour. But uh, it ain't pumping, man. Like, for real, it's, it's a slow night. I'm up here at uh, Two Fellas Grill, man. I'm taking my time getting back today because uh, so we're sitting in the parking lot for 15, 20 minutes, you know, before we even get one order. You know, but uh, I'm up here. I got my book plan. You know, it's a long book, so I'm not going to finish it tonight. It's an 11-hour lesson, but I'm definitely going to finish this book. You know, um, I, like I, like Les Brown, I got this from Les Brown. Man, he said he, he bet that he know the most quotes out of everybody. So what I do is I write down quotes when I be listening to these books. Just something to draw back to and draw inspiration from, you know. But, you know, uh, this Shiv Carey, he got so many, you know, jewels he's dropping in his book but he said uh wisdom is nothing more than dispelling ignorance For real man you eliminate all the ignorance in your life you know you got no choice but to get wiser man like this this dude man he's he saying some things in here he say an abundance of common sense is called wisdom you know? For real man uh, common sense is to see things as they are and do them as they should be as they ought to be done. Powerful, man. But that's the type of stuff I be in here on, man. Building, growing, man. Trying to get my mind together. Especially on nights like this where it ain't nothing else to do. It's too dark to list on eBay. I should have brought some eBay stuff today. I wasn't even thinking. But uh, yeah, man. I'm going to do another update at 12 o'clock when I ride to the crib. It ain't looking good, man. Um, it's looking like when I first started, man. It used to be like slow, slow. Like, you know, like watching. I used to watch old Kung Fu flicks, man. <laughs> For real. Shaolin vs. Llama and all kind of stuff, man. Uh, Ghostface Killer, like, I forgot what that movie called with the Ghostface Killers, but uh, The Seven Man. I used to watch all the movies, man, when I when it was slow. But not to get off topic, man, $38, man, and uh, five hours ain't really done. Making 60, but five deliveries, $38, man. Get back on y'all at 12 with an update. What's going on? Welcome back to that 12 o'clock ride to the house video, man. This been a horror. This been a bad night, man. I ain't gonna lie. I did an update two hours ago, and I was at five deliveries for thirty-eight twenty-five, man. You know, in the last two hours, man, I did two more deliveries, man. Put me at uh seven on the night, man. I was I'm at uh twenty-two seventy-five in delivery fees and twenty-six dollars in tips. So I did make more in tips than I did in delivery fees tonight. But man, I only did forty-eight seventy-five. So you figure I only made ten fifty in the last two hours, man. With the nighttime drivers on, man. But you know, it's cool, man. You know, some nights be like this, even though I ain't had a night this bad in a while. I think the worst night I had was like fifty-nine dollars. Uh, other than tonight, you know. But uh, I don't know, man. I might have to start doing more Walmart uh, than Go Puff, man. You know. I, I'm only doing two days this week, but I think I'm gonna keep it at two days until it take back up. Cause uh, man, it's like even though I made eighty four dollars with the subsidy, seven times twelve, you know, so they had gone. I still made eighty four dollars tonight in seven hours. But man, that, it ain't it ain't pumping, man. Like I remember I used to have nights making like twenty three, twenty almost thirty dollars an hour or some nights, man, doing like thirty plus deliveries and. I don't know, man. I hope the word ain't dying down. I hope we ain't fizz fizzling out up here. You know, they need to do another promotion or something. Yeah, man. We ain't too, too late. But it's cool. I was able to really get into my book. You know, get some, some game from uh, Shiv Kara. 
think I'm saying his name right here, Indian uh, author, I believe. You know, um, but I listen to Deepak Chopra before too. You know what I'm saying? I listen to Saad Google. There's a couple of people from India I've been listening to. Some support, some more people I ain't even uh, mentioning right now. You know, uh, Oshu, I think that's his name. But uh, yeah, man. It's what we was on tonight. You know? And uh, man, it was, it wasn't, it was, you know, we can win. That's the name of the book, man. It got me inspired. I uh, made it through like three hours of the book almost. You know, I still got like eight hours to listen to him. Dude, he dropped a lot of jewels off. You know, the thing I got out of that, he, he kept stressing persistence. Persistence in all that you do, man, and try to get to where you want to be, man. You got to stay consistent, man, and stay on top of it, man. You know, that's, 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 that's big, man. Procrastination is most people obstacle. You know, more than major one of mine, for real, but this next year, going in so, so full throttle, man, I'm about to be on another level of life, man, this next year, because I got a lot of stuff that I was supposed to have done this year that I didn't get to, but I did get a lot of stuff done, like, for real, I was able to get it, you know, a lot of things done, but it's so much, man, came a long way, but still, I got so far to go, like Tupac say, but, uh, not to get off topic, man, on the puffy night, man, but uh, we did make $84 with the subsidy, man. I'm gonna get back on y'all tomorrow with another one, man. You know, document the grind, document the hustle, man. Peace and love, help and wisdom, man. Stay puffing, stay hustling, get your money, man. You know, about to open up the channel some more, man. Show some of these online hustles I'm into the Shopify, the Wix, drop shipping, all kinds of stuff, man. It ain't just gonna be Puffy Chronicles no more, but salute to all the hustlers. Disney World, man. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it's packed out here. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the streets and online. You know, today's hustle, man. I'm on my way to the GoPuff warehouse. You know, I'm a GoPuff delivery driver, man. One of my many hustles, man. I told y'all, stack your hustles, man. Keep stacking them on top of each other, man. But uh, yeah, man, it's one of my side hustles. I only worked one day last week. This is my first day week, first day this week. You know, the pay period run from Sunday to Monday. So you know, you know, it's like a seven-day pay period. It ain't your typical five-day pay period. You know, you know, you get for twenty dollars. You get forty dollars for for your first ten orders, sixty dollars for your first twenty, eighty for your first thirty, and a hundred for your first forty when you're a go puff driver. You know, I ain't really been doing too much puffing. I just came back from Orlando, man. I had a ball, man. I took my family to Disney World. You know what I'm saying? Took my kids, my wife, to Disney World. You know, had a good time down there, man. It was a it was an experience, man. It's expensive as hell, though. I ain't gonna lie. Orlando, like a tourist city, man. Like, it did cost some bread. It hit my pocket. So now I'm really about to be back on the puff and back on the Walmart uh, Sparks delivery. You know, try to run it up. Get some, recoup some of that money. But yeah, man, I'm about to get in here and see what I can do tonight, man. I'm pulling up at this light. I'm right across the street from the warehouse, you know. But the last couple times I did work, man, it was like real slow i don't even think i made a hundred dollars the last two two times i worked you know but school is back in this week so hopefully we can run it up you know to at least over 100 i only work uh five to ten a day five hour shift you know and then i work three to seven thirty i think i got two three to seven thirties but uh that's a shift i never worked so we definitely gonna see how that turned out but yeah man we're gonna see how much this bank roll how much of this puffy money we can get tonight man document the grind document the hustle i'm gonna update every hour you know it's only a five hour shift Get back on y'all at six. What's going on? Welcome back to the six o'clock update, man. You know, I'm on been on the clock for like an hour now, man. And it ain't been puffing, man. <laughs> Not through this first hour, man. You know, I was only able to complete one order in this first hour, man. 
and I got a dollar tip. So you know we get the three dollars and twenty five cent per delivery plus whatever tips. So grand total is at three dollars, uh, four dollars and twenty five cent, man, in an hour, man. But you know we get that little subsidy, so they gonna give me the extra seven fifty to make sure I'm at least making twelve. You know, uh, seven seventy five, but I'm at four twenty five. Yeah, give me that extra seven seventy five. Make sure I'm uh, at least making that twelve bucks. You know, that's only that's one of the perks. I, I got a question like, what's one of the uh, what I like more, Go Puff or Walmart? It, it it they both got different pros and cons. You know, what I like about Go Puff is you get guaranteed money whether you take an hour take an order or not. You know, one of the cons is like. You gotta sign up for them hour blocks and you gotta be there, you know, kind of thing. Walmart is kind of, you just pick up the orders when you feel like picking them up, you know, uh, and ain't no guarantee uh, hourly rate. Like we get that $12 subsidy, they don't have that. So, you know, it's different perks with, with both of them, but I like doing both of them. But, you know, right now we only have $4.25. I thought it would be real busy because uh, school back in now, you know, my daughter first day, I had to drop her off today, man, at high school, man. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm uh I'm up here at the puppy shop, man. Hopefully we pick up a little bit, but right now we only have one order. You know, I just turned on this book called The Automatic Millionaire. I hope my uh, phone didn't uh, close where I was at because I don't even remember where I was in the book. Okay, it's by David Bach. I'm about, I think I'm about, yeah, I'm about 18 minutes into the book. Um, so, you know, they just got through the preface and he told me how he got the inspiration to become a millionaire just off of liking McDonald's hamburgers, you know. He liked them like his grandmother, uh, he liked hamburgers so much when he was seven years old. She was like, How would you like to own a McDonald's? Put that seed in his head. And he was like, How could I do that? And she taught him about investing in stocks, you know, like basically getting a share of that company every time you buy one, you know. Um, and she taught him that since he was seven and started this path to investment, man. You know, I, I wish I'd have started my kids young. Well, they still young, but I wish I'd have started them that young to think about investing. But, you know, they be too young to comprehend money. Uh, some of them. Uh, but yeah, man, not to get off topic, man. We're trying to automate this millionaire success, man. So then I can be off the puffy clock. I'll be shooting some, uh, you know, document the grind, document the hustle, how to get some millions, some thousands, you know. Right now we plan. We, we still getting good puffy money. I enjoy what I do, man. It, it allow me to learn a lot in this car. But I'm going to do another update in an hour let y'all know where I'm at. 425 the first. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, man. Rookie Riches, man. I'm out here uh, on that GoPuff grind, man. So far, man, you know, when I did the last update, I had did one order. One order for $4.25, man, you know. But that subsidy take me up to 12 so I ain't tripping. Uh, in this past hour, man, I was able to do two more orders, man. Put me at three on the night in two hours for... Uh, $9.75 in delivery charges and $6 in tips. Grand total of $15.75. <laughs> you know, GoPuff still got to keep paying me that subsidy. So, you know, $12 an hour, man, ain't, ain't bad money. It ain't the best, but it definitely ain't the worst. You know, minus whatever the gas is. You know, but uh, I think I think it's picking up a little bit. Even only did two orders in that hour. It's only like I think it's five drivers up here, so you know the orders kind of spread out. But we're gonna see, man. Hopefully, uh, you know, see if we start picking up. I got three more hours on the clock. Five to ten ain't no bad shift. You know, I like the little five hours. I ain't never did this one, but you know, I still got the book plan called the Automatic Millionaire, man. Dude is uh, he talking about paying yourself first, man, before you pay your bills, before you do anything. Pay yourself. He said ten percent of your gross income. I'm like, dang, I don't know nobody that can live off of 10% uh, of their gross income. I'm like, damn, what kind of money you think people working with? You know, everybody ain't making no, uh, you know, to be able to survive off that, man. Shit, that's 10% of your income. Your gross income is amazing, you know, but it must be possible for some people. So I ain't saying it's impossible, but yeah, that's what I got planned right now. You know, I'm going to start paying myself first. And divvying up here by the Yoster West, you know, bills and everything, man, you know. And he's talking about basically, you know, setting up your uh, plan so you, you know what I'm saying, you be secure. Like, knowing exactly what your expenses is every month, you know, definitely help out. You know, um, even though he says sometimes you do incur, like, un unexpected expenses, but he say that's why you, uh, you save 10%. So you save 10%, you 
pay yourself 10% and you invest 10%. You know, that's a recipe for success to me. And that's definitely some things I'm, that's definitely something I'm about to apply to my life and how I make money, you know? But right now we on the Puffy Chronicles, man. I'm at, uh, you know, I'm at 1575 in two hours, 24 with the subsidy. I'm gonna do another update in an hour, let y'all know where that bread at. Automate that million. What's going on? Welcome back to the eight o'clock update, man. Your boy been on the clock for three hours now, man. And man, this, it ain't really puffing, man. It's, I got two more hours to go. Hopefully we can make something happen. But right now, it ain't looking too good. You know, the last update, I was at three quarters, $15.25. Real bad, you know, that subsidy. Without that subsidy, it'll be real hit. But uh, since then, man, I did another two orders. Put me at five on a night for $16.25. Delivery fees ten dollars in tips so you know the total was 26 25 three hours man you know <laughs> that's not even making man a, what is that divided by three that's a little over eight dollars an hour or something eight fifty or something but, uh, get that subsidy so you know i'm at 36 dollars with the subsidy you know i only worked one day last week you know and it was uh I did seven I only did seven orders last week on the one day I worked I still made $110 in six hours. You know, with the uh like the, uh, that subsidy helped out tremendously. You know, I didn't even think I made a hundred dollars, you know. I didn't even do ten orders to get the you know, forty dollar bonus, but you know, I did one day, seven orders made one ten. You know, and they ain't take it ain't really take no effort to do you no know, seven orders in six hours. But yeah, man, that's where we at right now. I'm trying to automate these this money, man. You know, dude just gave an example on how to get started saving your money, man. He said start with 1%. Just saving 1%. You know, anybody, I don't care where you work at, McDonald's, anywhere, you can save 1% of your income. You bring home a little $300 every two weeks as a teenager, you know, 1% of that is only $3. You know, he said just get started saving somewhere. It increases your, as you see, that you can still, you know, live off. So you start seeing how much you really need to actually live off, you know, by starting small like that. He said by the end of the year, he was at 12, saving 12% 12 of his money income, you know, but to start at 1%, he, it, it, like, broke it down and simplified what exactly he needed to have and what he didn't need, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, that's that's what I'm on, man. I've been, I've been messing over a lot of money, man. That Disney World trip hit me. But, you know, it was the memory, man. Life about to create memories, man. Memory, memory for me, memory for my kids. I've been wanting to go to Disney since I was a kid. And you wish upon a star. I remember seeing the commercials. <laughs> I used to think only little rich white kids got to go to Disney World for real. I ain't never seen no growing up. You never seen no black kids on no Disney World. Commercial. You know, I'm, I'm pumped like I was a kid and just went for the first time in my. But uh, not to get off topic, man. It ain't puffing, so I'm chopping it up on the pop, puffing chronicles. We got two more hours on the clock. You know, we are gonna see what we can do. Keep documenting the grind, documenting the hustle, man. For real, it's definitely a grind tonight, man. But. I love the hustle, man. I'm, I'm mad I ain't got my, oh, I do got some eBay stuff I can list. I think I got black ops. I'm gonna list this on eBay while I still got some sun out here. But I'm gonna get back on y'all in a minute, man, with another update. What's going on? Welcome back to the nine o'clock update, man. I'm on the, been on the clock for four hours, man. I got one more hour to go. It's been a nice little smooth day. But uh, yeah, man, when I did that last update, I was at five deliveries. But twenty-six dollars and twenty-five cent, you know, with the nighttime driver's on. You know, since then, man, I only did another two deliveries, man. Put me at seven on the night. A three away from at least getting that forty dollar bonus, which I should be able to get three more orders in this last hour, but ain't no telling. You know, but uh I'm at seven orders on the night for twenty-two twenty-two seventy-five in delivery fees and fourteen dollars in tips. Grand total of what? 3675. <laughs> in four hours, man, we both, you know, it ain't really going. It, it seemed like it's picking up though. No, I did get a multiple order run to even get that seven because I didn't even have no orders for an hour then she brought out two. You know, I wasn't all, I almost like didn't get any. But you know, hopefully we can get up, get back up here and get three more orders in this last hour. But with the subsidy, I'm at forty-eight dollars, you know. That subsidy is coming in clutch, especially the last few times I don't work because it ain't really been going crazy on the orders. I used to have nice where it go 30 orders and up, 25 and up. Like 20 and up was like 
mandatory. Like that was like no brainer. Like I ain't, I don't even be getting 20 orders in the night. That rarely happened now. Like, you know, I don't know if it's cause we got a lot of drivers now or what, but uh, I know they got a Bronco bash coming up here. And we about to do a big promo at the university, you know, so hopefully that, you know, turn the students back on to us, man, you know, and, you know, increase the revenue. But, uh, you know, that's right now where we at, man. We at $48 with the subsidy and only $36.75 without the subsidy. You know, the subsidy was $8.50. They changed that about two or three months ago. But, uh, we need about two months ago, you know. But I, just like my second year, man, I think in, in January it'd be both February, I've been here two years. Come on, we almost, you know, close to that. Not too far away. But yet, I still got the book, the automatic millionaire plan. And, oh, uh, shit. Basically, trying to put myself on autopilot with my cash, man. So, so when I am a wealthy man, you know, speaking things to existence, man. You know, I've been thinking about these moments I was driving around in this car, dropping off snacks, making stacks. You know, I don't be making it into the stacks no more. I used to do six, seven day weeks, man. I don't even be doing it. You know, I could make more puffy money, man, but I be, I just start focusing on my other businesses and stuff like that lately, you know, with my eBay and my, uh, my print on demand, eat shop, and things like that. But, you know, I still get the puff pay the bills, man, you know, so I'm always stay puffing for at least, you know, a little while longer till I can automate myself. I want to automate my money. That's why I'm starting all these online businesses, man, with the YouTube, you know, hopefully I, hopefully I can get the channel monetized, get the channel monetized. You know, get some sponsors or something, you know, or print on demand shop, man. You know, I'm looking at all kind of stuff right now. Amazon, FBA, man, all this stuff I'm looking at. Private label, white label, everything, man. You gotta always have more than one hustle, man. Don't never put all your eggs in one pot or have that go. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm gonna do another update in an hour, man, when I uh, go home. What's going on? Welcome back to the. Well, 10 o'clock ride to the crib, man. I'm used to getting off at 12, man. You know, it's over with, man. It's been a nice little smooth five-hour shift. Not too bad, man. Five to six hours don't make it even feel like work. You know, I'm used to doing eight, 12-hour days, man. You know, you know, and I did it all in these factories, too. But, man, when I did the last update, I was at, uh, let me see what I was at. I was at seven orders for 36.75 man not really looking too good man you know since then man i did another two orders man put me at nine on the night for uh 29.25 at delivery charges you know 325 times nine then you got 21 dollars in tips man put your boy at 50 dollars and 25 cent on the night man you know what can I say? It'd only be ten dollars an hour if you want that. That subsidy wasn't on there, so you know I made sixty with the subsidy, twelve times five. You know the math real easy on that. But uh, yeah, man, yeah. I am one order away from getting a forty dollar bonus. I could stay and probably grab another order, but I'm cool. It's nine fifty eight. I ain't even going back up there. You know, and uh, shit, that's what we did tonight, man. Not a bad night, but I did uh, get some game from uh, I think his name David David Bach man on automate my my damn but automate myself to try to you know make my money so you can see where your money going you know I'm about to automate my bills all of this it's uh what is today today is Tuesday. So by Monday, I'm gonna have, I already set up a 401, I mean an IRA account, a Roth IRA. You know, I think that's the one where your dollar's pre-taxed. He was just talking about that. You know, it'd be a, it's a traditional IRA, uh, uh, a Roth IRA, you know. But uh, I got one of them set up at my bank already. But he talking about, I ain't been really putting nothing into it like I should be. You know, I used to have a 401k at my job and uh, I advise you if your job got any kind of match. Why not get free money? You know, they got like a, even if it's only 5%, you know, that's still, that's still substantial, especially if you put like a percentage of your income weekly in there, you know. It's all about, you know, preparation, man. You know, this, a lot of this stuff, man, I wish I had this game at 20. I wouldn't even, I probably, I wouldn't even be puffing. <laughs> I'll be sitting on an island somewhere. 
you know, if I had this game at 20 years old, man, like I'm about to, my son about to be 19 in a couple weeks. I'm about to get this game to him. I already got him, uh, you know, got him set up with his credit, you know, got him a little secure loan at the bank so his credit keep building. You know, it's all about learning, man. In your life, man, you should always be learning and growing, man. You should never be stagnant, man. You know, you exercise your body. Why not exercise your mind as well all the time, man? Like, that's what I do in this car, man. It's my classroom, man. You know, today I learned about a bunch of different stuff, man. I'm mad I didn't have my notepad taking notes because it was slow enough to, uh, you know, get some notes down. But, uh, yeah, man, building and growing, man. That's the, that's the mission I be on, man, every day, man. Uh, I'm mad I quit start smoking these these new ports again, but uh, it's over with after the day, man. Them boys got my chest hurt. I had quit for like I keep quitting two weeks, two weeks, week after week. You know, a month. I ain't did a month yet. You know, I done did the most I done did is 21 days, man. So it's all about taking care of yourself mentally and physically and financially, man. Get yourself together, man. Every new year, people make these resolutions and don't stick to them, man. Your birthday is really your new year, but uh, yeah, man. So. Man, always, man, I want everybody to win, man. That's all I want, man. So that's why I be, I don't know if this helps people or not, man. But I just be giving the game as it's giving to me, you know. But not to get off topic, man. We did $50.25 on nine deliveries, man. Slow puffing tonight. But I'm going to get back on, y'all. I work tomorrow at 3 to 7. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the streets and online. You know what you're looking at today, man. I'm a go puff delivery driver. What can I say, man? It's one of my side hustles, man. Been doing it for a minute. You know, I had a little, I worked five hours yesterday, man. I only made like $50, you know, but with that $12 subsidy, it came up to $60. But uh, yeah, I'm about to get in here. I got a 3 to 7.30 shift today. You know, um, I want we're away from getting that forty dollar bonus. You know, because you get uh, forty for your first ten, sixty for your first twenty, eighty for your first thirty, and forty orders get you a hundred. You know, but you only get that for your first orders, man. I know I run that down a lot, but you know, sometimes people I gotta have a script, man. Let people know how this go puff, how the puffy chronicles work, man. If you a driver, man. But yeah, I'm about to get up here and see how much I can make tonight in this little four and a half hour shift. I ain't never worked this shift. Well, it's been a while. It's probably a year since I worked a ship, a daytime ship, period. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in here and see how much I can make tonight, man. But uh, you know. Hell yeah, I just got my first order, man. I'm trying to see how much we can make tonight. My camera had went out. I had to release some stuff, man. Still working on my phone. You know, got my first order, man. It looked like they got, uh, let me see what they ordered. Let's see what they ordered real quick. They ordered a 20 ounce Coke and M&M's peanut butter, <laughs> M&M's peanut, peanut candies, some Lay's barbecue potato chips, and some Funyuns. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to drop this off real quick. It's a nice neighborhood out here, man. Let me turn, turn it around. It look like we in Mayberry. Everything, the birds is chirping and everything. <laughs> it's a nice neighborhood, but I'm about to drop this off my first order. Let me see. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do another update, man, and uh, let y'all know where that money at in an hour, man. You know, at four o'clock, man. I'm gonna update every hour. Since I was out of four and a half hour shift, I think I missed my turn, though. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's like 4 13. I just got my second order, you know. It's, it's moving slow today, but it's a, it's a whole case of Sprite, you know all of that but i just got my second order man let me see what they got in the bag let's see what they got in the bag oh let's say age restricted when you get an age restricted order you got to scan the id and uh a signature it's like you uh you just fill in a signature i don't ever let them do the signature as soon as i take scan a picture and it say the id was valid i sign it myself and then just complete order you know but uh let's see what else they got in here they got 10 items total they got 10 items total. I'm trying to get this GPS off of here. Okay, they got 10 items total. Okay. Why it's age restricted? They got a views. They got a uh like a you know, like a vape. They got a vape, a vape cartridge. 
you know, GoPuff sell vape cartridges, sex toys, and all kind of stuff, man, that just surprise you. You know, they got a vape cartridge, a views vape, vape cartridge, Blue Bunny, ice cream, Funyuns, damn Funyuns popping today. I just delivered an order of Funyuns, you know. They got two air, two piece teas from Caddyshack, an Arizona green tea. They big on the tea, I see. They got a Sprite 12 pack, and they got some Nerves gummy clusters. Two Gatorade blue. Oh, they thirsty over here. It's a lot of a lot of you know beverages but uh yeah i'm gonna get back on y'all man i'm gonna just i'm this gonna be kind of random how i shoot this i'm trying to see how i can you know combine how i do the walmart videos with how i do the gopa videos but uh yeah man, i'm just my second order of the day it's 4 15 so i'm an hour 15 into my shift get off at 7 30 we're gonna see what happens yeah i just completed that second order dang it's a bad glare on there i just completed the second order you know, uh, I got a five dollar tip on that order, so I made eight twenty five for that delivery. You know, I still made I made a dollar tip on that first delivery, so you know, that was four twenty five. We about to get up here and see what's going on. I hope y'all can see that glare horrible. We up here on campus. Campus looking real busy right now, like a lot of movement up there. So it, it probably stay steady, you know, from here on out through the rest of the night. We gonna see, man. I got uh, three more hours to go. What's going on? Oh, Turn shit. left onto Eggliston yeah, Avenue. A, they got a lot of construction over here, man. But uh, yeah, man, I just got my uh, third and my fourth order. So In a quarter far. mile, your destination will be on the right. You know, they this one is uh, what to say six items. They got uh, two bags of Jolly Ranchers, two Snickers, one and two Gatorades. You know. That's what the first order is. I can't see the second order until I drop this one off. And I'm going to let you all know what that one is, too. But they going, like, right around the corner from each other. Oh, I can't see the second order. Okay, they got five items. The second order is... They got some salted cashews, some emeralds nuts, mixed nuts, and two bags of handicaps hot fries, and some more cashews. So two bags of cashews and a box of pack a bag of mixed nuts but then that glare is bad but yeah man that's what they got for the second order you know they nut crazy you know they got <laughs> four bags of damn nuts but uh yeah man i'm about to drop these two orders off let y'all know where that money came off for these two orders what's going on man i just completed that two order run you know i got tip for one order i got two dollar tip for one order so i made 525 off of one order and then the other order, I didn't get a tip at all, you know, cheap money, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, they gave me three dollars and twenty-five cents. I think it was some kids though. That when I pulled up, it was the second order. It was two kids on the trampoline and order go pub. But the order before that, I done delivered there before. It always be like a little dude come out to get the order. But uh, you know, I ain't expecting them to tip. They can't even make no money yet, you know. But uh, yeah, man. Right now we had twenty-one dollars, man, after four orders and been on the clock for two hours i got two and a half hours left we're gonna see what happened in these last two and a half but right now we had 21 dollars man i hope i i think i forgot to take a screenshot for my last cash total but i hope not we're gonna see you know i know when i put the video together but yeah i'm on my way back to the puffy shop right now see what's puffing what's going on <clears throat> yeah i just got my fifth order of the day you know look like they got some spicy ramen noodles some hostess donuts, a nurse rope, uh, aloe comfort with peach juice, and some takis. Probably some, some youngins. I bet these some youngins. You could tell by the order, like, if there's some young youngsters ordering for real. But uh, yeah, man, this is my fifth order of the day. I'm only at $21. It's 5.30. You know, I got two more hours. It's 5.30 yet. I got a little less than two hours to go. But we're going to see what happened in these last two hours, man. But right now, we only at $21. I'm gonna see if they give me a tip or something after this order, man. You know, but they youngsters, so I don't know what they expect, you know. What's going on? Man, I just completed that fifth order, man. You know, they did give me a $2 tip, man. Plus, I made it $3.25 for the delivery. So, $5.25 for that delivery. You know, putting me at $26.25 on the day. Uh, and it's been almost two and a half hours. I started at 3 o'clock. It was 5.47. So almost three hours, you know, I've got like an hour, 43 minutes left. We're going to see what happened, man. But I did already get that, you know, that $40 bonus. I got that $40 bonus 
you know, um, I'm at 14 orders on a week. I do, I don't work again until Sunday. You know, it's Wednesday today. You know, I usually work Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But, you know, I went out of town to Orlando, so my shift a little different this week. That's why I ended up getting this pretty 730. I just had to take the hours that was left. I guess I'm taking care of the people. They got 40 hours, uh, again, just want 40 hours a week first, which is crazy, because I've been here the longest, so I should at least get the hours that I want. You know, I only be wanting 18 to 22 a week. But it's cool. I just do more Walmart. <laughs> do more eBay. That's all it is. But you know, I'm on my way back to the puffy shop. Right now we at 26.25, man. You know, I'm listening to some old 50. <laughs> old 50. You know, guess who's bizarre? Guess who's back 50? You know, before he blew up and all that. You know, power of a dollar. You know, all that old 50. That's what I'm riding to today. But I'm going to get back on, y'all, man. I'll probably just wait till I leave, 7.30. That's an hour and a half, man, just to let y'all know what's going on with the money. It's 5.48. Yeah, I'm going to just wait till 7.30 when I leave. What's going on? I just got my, uh, damn, that glare is, I can't get the glare off the screen, man. Uh, but, yeah, I just got my sixth order of the day, man. They got the Blue Bunny Strawberry Shortcake Loaded Sunday. Cheetos Flaming Hots. They got the Arizona Arnold Palmer Half and Half. That's my, I drink them in my thing. The Half Tea Half Lemonade. They got a five pound bag of ice. They got a Dawn Ultra Original Dish Liquid. A Zig Zag <laughs> Strawberry Blunt. That's why it's age restricted. You know, they ordered a blunt wrap. Then they got a Mini Maid. And then they got some Life Savers. It's my sixth order. You know, it's going to the west side. You know, hopefully we get a nice little tip after this order, man. It's 6.17, so I'm, I got a little bit over an hour left to go on the clock. But, you know, we're going to see what we can do. This will be my 15th order of the week. You know, five orders away from getting that 20 to get that $60. But it's been slow, man. I never signed up for a 3 to 7.30 shift. You know, last night was slow, though. I did a 5 to 10. I only did nine orders. And this today, man, shit, I'm barely, man, I might get one or two more, I'm guessing, you know. Um, but we gonna see how it go, man. Keep documenting the grind, documenting the hustle, man. We'll drop this order off real quick. See what happens, see what kind of tip work we can get. What's going on? Welcome back to the, well, it's 6.30 now. I just completed my sixth delivery on the day. You know, I was at uh, five deliveries for 26.25 on my last update. I did get a $2.80 tip for that last order that I just dropped off my sixth of the day. You know, bringing me up to $32.30. <laughs> you know, in three and a half hours, that ain't really no hella money, you know. But uh, like I said, we get paid that subsidy, so it all uh, work out to at least average of $12 an hour. So I don't be tripping. I, uh, I meant to have some eBay stuff to list. I ain't got none today, you know. I'm lacking, you know. Usually I make this worth my time when it's slow like this, cause it's definitely slow puffing today. But uh, yeah, man, I'm uh on my way up here to get this little Chinese food. I've ordered it before I even started the delivery, so it should be ready. Hopefully, you know it's ready, and I ain't gotta sit in here and wait on it. But yeah, I'm gonna do another update. I'm gonna go. Shit, I got an hour left on the clock, so I'm gonna just update at 7:30. You know, see what happens. Right now we at $32.30, man. Sad fish sandwich. What's going on? Welcome back to the, you know, well, it's 7.15. I'm on my way back to the Puffy Shop. That probably, I just completed my last order. It was an eight item order. You know, they had the Fritos Flavor Twist, Honey Barbecue. They had a Reese's Peanut Butter Halloween Beef Cup. They had a Snapple, a Coca-Cola, and some Haribo Twin Snakes, four packs. That is good though. You know, nothing like the Haribo Gummy Bears, but uh, I messed with the Twin Snakes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. I'm on my way back to the shop. I may get another order. I may not. Um, probably ain't gonna get back to the shop to about a little after 20, about 21, 22, 722. So I may get an order. I may not, but this, you know, this might be the last update. I'm gonna still update to see if I do or not. You know, but right now, with that last order, man, it put us at uh where was I at? That last order put us at uh see we was at 32.30 you know we just got 7.25 for that order right there because we got the 3.25 plus the four dollar tip so you know we had 39 dollars and what just a couple cents or something like that something like that something like that you know 
Let me see exactly where we at. I was at 32.30. Now I'm at 39.55, you know. After four and a half hours, four, almost four and a half hours, you know. But uh, with the subsidy, like I said, you know, four hours times 12 would be 48 plus the half hour, I get six. So they at least make sure I made $54 for the day. If nothing else, you know, can't beat the subsidy, you know. But uh, I wish it was a little faster because I used to have nights when I done made over $20 an hour, you know, a lot of nights. You know, it done kind of slowed up. I don't know what's going on. They need to do some more promotions or something. But you know, we're going to keep documenting the grind, documenting the hustle, man. But I may get one more order. It's, it is. I'm like two minutes away from the shop now, so I may sit and get another order. Y'all see how I go. What's going on? I did end up taking one more order, man. You know, it's a uh, seven item order. They got two bags of Doritos, two king size Twix, a vitamin water, some Jolly Ranchers, and a hostess coffee cake. <laughs> They over there having a sweet tooth, man. Probably somebody over there smoking something good, you know. Got the munchies. <laughs> you know, for real. This is like munchie food, for real. But, uh, yeah, this is my last order, man. I'm going to see what they tip me before I clock out. But it's going real close. It's only was like, uh, I think it was two miles away. So, I'll be done with this order real quick. Give y'all an update on that cash, man. The end total. And this four and a half hour, you know, short day. What's going on? Man, I just completed my last order, man. I ended up getting a, a $4 tip for that order. You know, so I was at seven orders for $39.55. I ended up getting a, uh, doing a one more order. You know, and I got $325 for the delivery. Damn, my bad about that glare. $325 for the delivery. And, you know, so that put me at $725 plus the $39.55. Put me at 46.80 on the night. You know, on eight orders. You know, I'm at 17 orders on the week. Hey, I wonder why it looked like the sun been setting in my car all day. Like I ain't been able to get this camera without the glare all day. It been just beaming in my car. You know, but uh, <clears throat> you know, two days, man. We only made. You know, we did 50 last night and 40, 40 some today, man. That ain't really a puffy, puffy life that I be doing, man. You know, but like with the subsidy, that make it a little better than what it ended up turning out on paper, you know. So we're going to get a little more than that. But yeah, man, I'm up here about to take go home. It's 7.30. It's still early out here. Dang, I can't get that clear off here. It's still early out here. But uh, yeah, man, it's been another one for the books, man. I did make some nice tips tonight. I made some nice tips tonight. But, you know, I ain't get enough orders, man. So I did like $26 in delivery fees. Then twenty dollars in tips. I got like three, four, two four dollar tips, a five dollar tip, a dollar tip. I think one of my only. I think only one order I didn't get a tip for. I at least got a dollar on every order, except one, and that's the one I dropped off in the hood. <laughs> you know, to the youngest. But uh, yeah, man, it's been another one for the books, man. Document the grind, document the hustle, man. I ain't even had to put the nighttime drivers on today. But I'm gonna get back on y'all Sunday, man. Stay puffing, stay hustling, man. Get your money, stack your hustles. Rookie riches. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the streets and online. You know, today's hustle, man, we on the streets with it, man. I'm a uh, GoPuff delivery driver, man. I'm right across the street from the warehouse. You know, I had to pull up to the store. I had to run in there and grab a couple items, man. Just left Q Doba. But uh, yeah, man, we about to get in here and see how much money we can make tonight, man. You know, delivering like Martin and Blue Street. I just made this shirt today. You know, uh... I don't know if y'all remember the pizza guy in Blue Street. Hey, Mr. Officer, I got your pizza. <laughs> you know, I'm a big Martin Lawrence fan, man. Shout out to Martin, man. You know, I wish he'd do more, more acting and stuff. But uh, yeah, man, not to get off topic, man. We on the Go Puff grind. I made this shirt with the heat press, though, man. I got a heat press right in my basement. So whenever I feel like pressing somebody on a shirt, that's what I do, man. Like, ain't no telling who I might, I might start doing these every day, man. Cause I be getting the shirts at the Dollar Tree. A lot of people don't know Dollar Tree got the damn t-shirts in there for a dollar a lot of times, you know. 
So I be they be the loud orange ones, but I'm like I'm a delivery driver anyway, so I be wanting to be seen. I got the lime green and yellow. I be buying all the little bright ass shirts. But yeah, man, we about to get in here, see what we can do tonight, man. My shift is uh six to one. You know I got a little seven hour shift, but uh yeah um I ain't worked since the last time I worked was Wednesday. Yeah, I worked three to seven thirty on Wednesday. I only worked three days this week, sixteen and a half hours. Still gonna make like a, still be like a four hundred dollar check. By the time they do all the subsidy, and uh, you know my tips and everything added on to that. But yeah, man, we gonna keep documenting the grind, documenting the hustle, man. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful life, like James Stewart's. You know, see it. You know, I don't know if y'all seen that movie. It's an older movie, but it's a classic movie. You know, but uh, I'm looking forward to this fall and everything coming back up with the Go Puff. Cause that's our busy season fall and winter you know like it's, it's like real easy to hit the bonuses you know even with a, a, all these drivers we have working now it's still easy to hit the bonuses in the fall and the winter you know but i'm gonna do an update every hour let y'all know where that money at what's going on welcome back to the seven o'clock update man you know your boy been on the clock for an hour so far man and i only did one order man this whole hour, man, you know, I did get a five dollar tip, you know, so I made eight twenty five, you know, but uh told y'all we get the subsidy, so go puff gonna go ahead and give me that three seventy five to make sure I'm making twelve dollars an hour. You know, I'm on a delivery right now. It's going it ain't going too far neither. As a matter of fact, I'm almost there, like it's gonna be going like a mile away. But uh yeah, man, that's I'm uh, on my way to this delivery. The sun beaming so crazy in my car, man can't barely see the screen usually it's behind me i can't get the glare off but now it's like i can't even see <laughs> but uh anyway man you know right now that's where we at I, I was just downloaded this program called hoopla you know i had i had it before but i had forgot what it was called it's at the library you got a public library it should be called something like that but basically you can listen to music uh movies ebooks everything on there comic books you know audio books everything on there man you know i just got hip to it and it's free you know and it's like a bunch they get new releases and everything i'm like man i can save on, on fire stick take some of that you know them bullshit channels i got on there off you know i ain't paying for them anyway you know i got people cold man until they figure that out you know that's always gonna be amazing <laughs> you know hey man man i got Hulu, netflix to be uh, Fossil, uh, what else I got? I got everything. Voodoo, uh, Fandango, I got everything, man, on that uh, IMBD. But you know, not to get off topic, man, you know, feeling good, man. It's a Sunday, Sunday night, you know. Just got my second order of the night, you know, so hopefully this hour will be better than last hour. But I'm gonna do another update in the hour. But right now, we only at eight twenty-five, twelve dollars worth of subsidy, you know. But yeah, I'll get back on y'all in a minute. Document the grind, document the hustle, man. We hustling out here. What's going on? Welcome back to the eight o'clock update. I'm a little late on the update. But man, when I did that last update, I was an hour into the shift. I had did one order for $8.25. You know, man, since then, man, um, I've been able to do another two orders. Uh, putting me at $9.75 in delivery fees, you know, $3.25 times three. And then nine dollars in tip, so you know I got a total of eighteen dollars and seventy-five cent on a day in two hours. You know, if it wasn't for the subsidy, we only be making about what nine dollars and thirty-seven cent an hour. But with that subsidy, you know, we had twenty-four dollars. You know, little, little nice, little, little calm, poof, puffy night. You know, it's like five drivers up here too, though. You know, I'm trying to see how it's gonna go but it did pick up i'm the only one sitting up here right now you know everybody else out on the delivery so whatever well i think dude parked on the side too he was here before me so he'd get his order then i'd get the order after him you know everybody don't park in the lot because be, this lot kind of small for all the drivers it'd be on but yeah man i just turned on this book you know it's only an hour and a half book but uh it's called uh with that that app hoopla that i told you all about it's called the problem is you how to get out of your own way and conquer self-defeating behavior and it's by john burke you know it's uh basically you know a lot of men in them self-help books man to try to 
Try to help myself, man. You know, I, I this day one, man. I'm fighting, man. Uh, I ain't smoke no cigarette. I ain't drink no alcohol today. You know, I've been fighting all year, man. But it's time that I'm. I really, I've been praying on it, man. I'm trying to get that stuff out of my life, man. Like for good, especially the alcohol and the tobacco. You know, I ain't got no problem with the with the cannabis, but that them two, I definitely won't go on for my life forever. You know, for real, like. All I be doing is destroying myself, man. It, it hit my pockets, hit my health, hit just everything. You know, it, it ain't nothing that I need. I be mad that I gave so many years to them cigarettes and tobaccos, you know. This, this, I be talking on this, but this be like therapy, man. Therapy for my soul, <laughs> for real. You know, but I'm gonna do another update in an hour, man. Let y'all know where that money at and what I done got out of this book. I just turned it on. I'm only like, yeah, about 10 minutes into the book. Street West. What's going on? Welcome back to the nine o'clock update, man. You know, when I did that last update, I was at three deliveries for eighteen seventy-five. You know, with the subsidy twenty-four dollars after two hours. But you know, since then, man, in this last hour, I only did one more order, man. In a quarter mile, use the second from the left I'm lane to turn left onto West Kalamazoo Avenue. Charges and twelve dollars in tips. Grand total of twenty-five dollars on the night. Go puff owe me eleven dollars for this hour. That's how the subsidy work. In a nutshell, you know, just to make sure I'm making uh, twelve dollars an hour. I'm at twenty-five. Boom. That's how you get your subsidy. Go plus that eleven to make sure I'm at least making that minimum minimum pay that they set for us. But yeah, man. Listening. Uh, I am over twenty orders. You know, so I did get the sixty dollar bonus with the nighttime drivers on these brokers too, man. The other ones I don't gotta try to find them or something. But uh, yeah, man, listening to I'm over twenty orders for the sixty dollar bonus. It's picking up too, cause I got two orders right here. You know, we usually ain't been getting multiple orders. Use the runs, second from the left lane to turn left onto West Kalamazoo right Avenue. Then continue and straight to stay on West Kalamazoo Avenue. Orders. But uh, yeah, man, hopefully I can get to, the, you know, 19 more orders. I got four more hours. It's definitely possible. I don't seem to go crazy. You know, dang, I'm, I think I'm, about to, I'm caught by this train. Oh, my God. It's about to mess with my time. Continue straight but, yeah, to stay man, on West Kalamazoo Avenue. I'm, uh, at 21 orders, so this will make 23. So hopefully we can get another 17 in the next four hours, man. Let's try to get this, this $100 bonus. You know, that'd be nice in 16 hours to get like a $450 check. That's what I'm aiming for. I only work between uh, 15 and 22 hours a week, though. Now, there was a time when I was working, man, working a lot of hours, like, man, seven days a week, six hours a day, seven hours a day. I don't do that no more because I do Walmart more. You know, I'm about to start putting more Walmart videos up. But I'm listening to the book, dude, talking about uh, procrastination and how that's, that affects so Continue on people. West Kalamazoo Avenue for half a mile. You know, and that's, that's definitely true. That's why a lot of people don't get a lot of things done in life, you know, for real. I know I'm one of those, the, man, I'm, that's probably one of my biggest downfalls is procrastination, you know, keep putting stuff off. I had quit, man, you know, I had quit some stuff and did some things and i am doing them. Like, motivation only lasts for so long, man. You got to have sustained, like, you got to have sustained. In a quarter mile, like use the right lane to merge onto Douglas like, Avenue. Really stay on it, man real because you be motivated for a minute uh, to get you to the gym and get you wherever you're trying to go for a week maybe two but you gotta have something in you to make you keep going you know for real like procrastination play a big part in that man I'm, uh, I'm gonna have use a, the right uh, lane I'm to merge on onto douglas avenue you know then turn right then onto west main street the progress you know i'm tired of uh deleting my progress for one day I keep seeing it, so but I'm getting stronger every time. But not, Take the you know, next right onto West Main Street. Right here, I'm on a delivery. I'm gonna get back on you all in an hour. What's going on? Welcome back to the 10 o'clock update. You know, I'm four hours in the shift. You know, when I did the last update, man, I was only at four orders. Yeah, I was at four orders for $25, man. You know. But, you know, both pub, like I said, they got to top me off with that 11, make sure I'm at least making 12 hours, so 36. You know, in this past hour, I was able to do another two deliveries. You know, another two deliveries, put me at six on the night for $33.50, man. So, you know, go puff the subsidy keep growing, man. They, they owe me, now they owe me, uh, what is that, 14 50 
to make sure I'm at least making forty eight dollars. You know, I'm trying to explain how the subsidy go as I go. You know, um, because I didn't used to understand. I used to think that that was something we got anyway. Plus, what we got paid. I'm like, oh, I'm about to clean up. I remember when I first started. I'm like, man, I thought we made eight fifty hour. Plus the tips and delivery. He like, oh no, nah. he had to break it down with that stuff that he meant. For any of y'all, we wasn't making eight fifty. We got that made sure. You know, make sure you made that minimum. But uh, yeah, man, I'm on the order right now. You know, this is gonna be my uh, seventh one of the night. You know, I am seven orders away. Well, after I do this one, only six orders away from getting that uh, eighty dollar bonus. So I'm gonna definitely get that. I'm here to one. It's ten o'clock right now. You know, but uh, just to give you an example. Of some of the stuff we sell here at the puffy shop man like this is a age restricted order i'm doing right now you know they ordered a, uh they ordered some blunt wraps and they ordered some uh like an emergency contraceptive you know i ain't even know we carried emergency contraceptive like plan b pills or some little bit it looked like a yeah my way emergency contraceptive tablets you know somebody you know they didn't Made a decision, <laughs> made a move that they regret right now. You know, I'm almost missed my turn talking. But you know, you know, uh, man, just wrap it up, man. Quit, quit letting people, uh, you know, do all that in you. <laughs> but uh, not to get off topic, man. I just want to let y'all know some of this crazy stuff we sell, man. I done dropped off some sex toys and people have before, man. I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. I'm gonna do a video to show what we what we sell at GoPuff, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna shoot that tomorrow. What is GoPuff and what do we sell? Yeah, I'm shooting that tomorrow. But you know, I'm gonna get back on y'all in an hour, man. I was listening to the book. I'm uh, I think I'm like five minutes away from being done with the book. Let me see, man. Pay attention to this road. These people be out here jogging and shit. But uh, you know, the book that I had planned was called The Problem Is You by John Burke. You know, I'm almost finished with it. You know, he's talking about addictions and how to overcome addictions and different different variety of addictions that people have and how they develop addictions. Like, it make you think about, like, like it made me think about, like, damn, how did I start smoking? How did I start drinking it? You know, it is, people got different addictions, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Like, when you sit and just think about, like, the root of how did you get so committed to doing something that wasn't even part of your life, you know, but not to get off topic, man, these some long takes, but it's the Puffy Chronicles, man, you know, but I'll get back on y'all, man, in an hour, man, you know, at 11 o'clock, hopefully we done got some more kids' ass. What's going on? Welcome back to the 11 o'clock update, man, you know, when I did that last update, man, I believe we was at like $35 or something like that, let me check on that check on that information real quick you know i think we was at six deliveries for 3350 yeah six deliveries for 3350 so go puff owe me you know what give me a 48 what is that like 1550 or something 1450 so make sure i'm making 12 dollars an hour but since then man you know i did another let me see I did another three deliveries, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, I did another three deliveries. Put me at nine on the night for forty-eight twenty-five, twenty-nine twenty-five in delivery fees, nineteen dollars in tips, forty-eight twenty-five on a night. I'm four orders away from getting that uh thirty-dollar, that eighty-dollar bonus. I'm at twenty-six orders, so I'm definitely gonna get that in these next couple hours. Hopefully, I should. You know, it shouldn't be hard to get four orders in two hours. So I don't know about the hundred dollar bonus because I'm definitely leaving right up out of here at one o'clock. But yeah, man, that's where we at on the night with the subsidy. Cause I've been here for five hours. I'm at sixty dollars, so they owe me another. What would that be? Eleven seventy five or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm up here waiting on the order. I think one of these orders might be mine. No, my phone ain't alert, so ain't nothing to mine. But uh, yeah, man, I'm uh, I just listened to a book, man, about how to stop smoking. You know, I told you I've been fighting this for years, man. I've been smoking for almost 20 years, man, for real, like almost. You know, I just listened to a book. It was only like maybe 20 minutes long. It's called Stop Smoking. Find out the easy way to stop 
to stop smoking and overcome nicotine addiction. It's kind of small and hard to read. But I just listened to it, man. You know, she said, uh, she said something about affirmations. Like, I don't, all of the authors that I be listening to uh, always talk about the power of affirmations. She was talking about meditation, concentrating on your breath, you know. Uh, but she was talking about the affirmations. Um, she said, basically, get up and tell yourself, I like being able to breathe freely. I like my body being in the best physical shape it can be. I like, you know, um, not smoke, being a non-smoker. Like, just, just affirmation to reaffirm your, you know what I'm saying, not want to smoke and what the smoking is doing to your health. Just, I don't know, man. She, and she said, repeat them aloud is key, you know, every day when you wake up. You know, all of this stuff is learned, like, if I knew this stuff 20 years ago, I probably would have never smoked. I wish I never smoked a cigarette in my life, man. I think I took some of some from my kids' life because I wasn't on, on my best physical, uh, in my best physical shape. You know, my son used to boil, my daughter used to boil, but if I was in best physical shape, I could have been, I'd have been right there with him, even though I was a coach and all that on the team and stuff like that. But I don't think I would have pushed no more, you know, had them cigarettes, not a habit. But man, this is a go puff grind, man. It's the Puffy Chronicles. I'm going to just update at 1 o'clock when I leave, man, because, uh, you know, I got two more hours to go, man. It's been a good night. It ain't too fast. It ain't too slow, though. But, yeah, get back on y'all in a minute. What's going on? Welcome back to the 1 o'clock update, man. You know, I end up waiting till you know, I ain't update last hour. I end up waiting up till I left, man, which is right now I'm on my way to the house. You know, it's the last day of the week. You know, go puff pay cycle run from uh, Monday to Sunday. So this is the last day of the week. I only worked uh, 16 and a half hours this week. You know, I did seven a day. No, 18 and a half. 17 and a half. I did seven and seven a day, five the other day, and then four and a half. So like 16 and a half, like I said. But yeah, man, when I did the last update, I was at nine deliveries for like $38, no, $48.25. You know, nighttime driver zone, man, riding through the city. Ain't no, it ain't a car on the road. All only thing out here is puffers, man. All the pizza places closed. All, there ain't nobody out here but puffers, man. You know, <laughs> but man, you know, not to get off topic, man. I was at nine deliveries in five hours for $48.25. You know, in this last two hours, I was able to do six deliveries, man, to put me at $80.35. You know, so you figure in two hours I did six, and the first five only did nine. You know, I did 14, 15 orders tonight, and then the other two days I worked, I did like a three to seven thirty shift, and I did a five to ten shift this week, and then I worked six to one a night. But on them two days I worked earlier this week, man, I only got 17 orders, and then I did 15 a night. You know, if I could have at least did like 12 or 13 on them nights, I would have ended up being able to get that uh, $40 bonus, man, because I'm like eight away. But it's cool. I did get the $80 bonus for going over the 30 orders. But I'm, I'm expecting it to be picked up. I think it's about to get real steady again. 15 orders, that's decent in a night. You know, not bad, not horrible. You know, 80 divided by, what did I work? seven hours so go puff gotta make sure i at least made 12 so they still owe me four dollars because i only made 80 like 80 26 or something like that but you know been a nice little night they ain't really tip too well like let me see what i got in tips i got uh turn some ac on i got 31 dollars in tips 48.75 in delivery fees you know finish and then it's day one starting over no i ain't smoked or drunk no alcohol today man i'm going home I'm about to drink me some matcha green tea big old matcha green tea and chill man to smoke me a little joint couple joints you know off the clock man we in a legal state and i got the medical car what can i say so i'm all the way up legal with it you know for anybody that got something to say about me Oh, mama. Yeah, it been another one for the books, man. Document the grind, document the hustle, man. You know, we starting everything over, man. Getting back to that discipline, man, today.
What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the streets and online. You know, man, today is hustle, man. I'm on my way to the GoPuff warehouse, man. You know, I'm a GoPuff driver. This is one of my side hustles. Like, you know, if you follow the channel, you know, this is my only day I work this week. You know, um, I gave up my Tuesday, man. We had a bad storm. Our power went out and all kind of stuff, man. So we ended up staying at my, you know, my people house. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I gave that shit up. I should have came in and worked had I known the power was going to be out all night. But, uh, you know, this is my only day working this week. I worked 5 to 12 a day, you know, 7-hour shift. You know, one of the other drivers told me they did 26 orders yesterday. So, you know, hopefully I can get a night like that, especially with it being my only night. You know, that would be like almost $200 in one day. I need that. But I've been driving for Walmart the last two days. I, I killed them with Walmart. I, I drove four hours one day. Four hours the other day and made like 190, 195 or something like that. I'm gonna take a screenshot of it. But yeah, man, I'm about to go up here to the warehouse, see how much we can stack up tonight, man. How much of this moolah we can grab out the streets tonight. You know, we on the go puff grind, man. You know, I did it, man. That Roberto Blake dude motivated me to put a hundred videos up there. Man, I think I got a hundred and three up there while I'm taping this. You know, I don't know. I got, I'm be, I'm backlog, son. So I don't know how many I got on back dog, backlog. I'm trying to drop two or three at a time, but I don't want to just people think I'm just overboarding them and shit. But it's my channel. I'm gonna do what I want to. But uh, document the grind, document the hustle, man. I'm about to try to change the bank roll tonight. I'm gonna update every two hours, man. It's a seven hour, seven hour shift. See how much space on this phone. Yeah, I'm gonna update every two hours. So I'm gonna do an update at seven o'clock. What's going on? Welcome back to the six o'clock update. But I wasn't gonna update till uh, two hours in. I might still wait to two hours till I do another one. But uh, man, in this first hour, man, I was able to do three deliveries, dog. Three deliveries, man, put me at uh, seventeen dollars and sixteen cent. You know, it's a lot of action out here. I'm coming off campus, man. You know, I did all three orders and all then went out to campus for real. You know, so just like I said, school back in. It's back out here puffing on campus. You know, they got the food truck set up up here and everything. Some type of festival going on. So I think it's gonna be a busy night. You know, three orders in one hour. That's that's good. That's turning that rate back up from what I'm used to. You know, we gonna get up here and see what happened. You know, I was able to list two things on eBay. I listed Black Ops 2 on the PlayStation 3 and I listed Minecraft. I listed uh Minecraft for $14.50. I list Black Ops for 13. You know, that's part of that, that 30 order bundle I had got. Well, no, I got these from the Salvation Army. I went on sticker day when the, when the stickers be half off, so I got them for $2 a piece. <laughs> you know, got to know them sticker days, man. If you want to buy this flip game on eBay, I went in there when they, uh, I think it was the pink sticker day when they, uh, the games be like half off. So I got them for $2 a piece. I got a couple of them for a dollar, like that South Park that I, I got to list that when I probably get back up here if we got a down some downtime. But yeah, man, that'll be you know four dollars. Then I listed them. You figure the total for shipping, it was like three dollars off for free shipping. So that's ten dollars, four dollars for the games. Both games is ten dollars, but I got them up there for twenty seven. So both of them sell. I'll be up seventeen. I'll, you know, hopefully one of them can sell today. But you know. Uh, man, I don't never stop hustling, man. Like I said, man, I'm about to uh, get this program so I can edit t-shirts when I be in here bored too, man. You know, never a down moment, man. Occupy your time. But not to get off topic, man, we bought $17.16. Three deliveries, man. I'm going to do an update. I might do one in an hour, but I might wait to eat. This phone ain't got a lot of space on it. But I do got my laptop in here. I might be able to, uh, told you, I'll be editing videos in here. Let it slow up. I edit a video with it, man. It, it don't stop, man. Always be hustling. Always be hustling, man. But I'm going to get back on y'all in an hour or two. What's going on? Welcome back to the 8 o'clock update, man. You know, the last update I did was like two hours ago, man. You know, I had did uh, three orders for like $17.16. Not a bad, you know, first hour. You know, in this last hour, I did... uh. You know, in this last two hours, because it's eight o'clock now, I've been on the clock for three hours. My shift like five to 12, so I got four more after this one. But uh, yeah, man, I did four more orders, man. Put me at seven on the night for uh, $33.16, I believe. Yeah, I think it is $33.16. You know, $33.16. 
you know, not bad money. After three hours, it is, and it's like 11 something an hour, but GoPuff gonna give me that subsidy to make sure I'm at least making $12. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of movement out here, man, on campus. Campus is so busy, man, like, it still ain't like, taking long to get out here, but you know, it's a lot of traffic. All the restaurants, buzz, and people walking around. People, these people everywhere right now. You know, you can tell school back then, especially when you've been living here for a minute, man. You always can tell this just the energy of the city. You know, uh, when the students back up here, you know. But yeah, man, that's what we had at three hours, man. Hopefully, you know, we I know we definitely gonna get that uh, forty dollar bonus. That's only I'm only three orders away from that one, and I'm thirteen away from. $60 bonus. I think I'm gonna definitely do 20 orders tonight though. I got four more hours on the clock. Been kind of steady too. But yeah, do another update at 10 o'clock, man. We're just doing married two hours. But uh man, I got the Les Brown playing, man. Les Brown, one of one of the reasons had me walk up out my job, man. Had me get up out of that work, man. He talking about most people have heart attacks on their way to a job that they hate at 8 in the morning. I say, damn, that's crazy. And I have been doing that shit six, seven years just to provide for my family and shit. Like, I had just lost my vision, man. I'm a really, I'm a hustler. I'm an entrepreneur. That's why, you know, a lot of the things that happened in my past, you know, trying to get that easy, fast money, you know, you still running a, a business when you're when you selling drugs. You still, you a business runner. You just ain't doing it legally. But them same tactics apply when you flip flop them onto the legal legal side of the shit. That's what I'm looking at right now, man. And that's where I'm at right now because everybody got a pass, you know. But right now, we on that legal hustle, nothing but legal money, man. That's all we want, man. <laughs> For real. I'm going to get back on y'all in a minute. But Les Brown, man, he motivated me. He's 75 years old. He still talk like he got so much more to do. Like he ain't letting up. Like for real, man. He said he on insulin. He, you know, that's something that plagued my people diabetes. You know, I had two uncles that had legs amputated, a hunt that was blind. My grandma was uh, lost her sight in the eye. My granddaddy had it. You know, most black people families that diabetes run hard. You know, that's what I've been doing with this. That last funeral I went to, I think when I came back, I just started thinking about like different ways we can help ourselves without eating crazy man like for real that's when it started me on this vegetarian and off and on thing i've been doing like I'm back on it right now you know but i've been you know, falling off but uh you know I'm, I'm back on it right now you know but i'm gonna do another update man it's the puffy chronicles man i feel good it's, it's a nice little day man i'm two days off the cigarettes two days off the drink man day off the meat 30 days my goal and i ain't hit it yet but i'm gonna do it this time What's going on? Welcome back to the 10 o'clock update, man. Nighttime drivers on, man. To put them on, man. You know, man, it's puffing out here, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't had a night like this in a minute. It's puffing, man. But you know, when I did that last update, I was only six. I was at seven orders, man, in three hours. I was three hours in. It was nine o'clock when I did that update for $33.16. You know, since then, man, in these last two hours, man, you know, I done did another seven deliveries, man. I was making about eleven dollars an hour in that last update. You know, three hours in, seven orders. But man, I done did seven deliveries in these last two hours, man. Put me at fourteen on a night for seventy nine dollars and ninety one cent, man. You know, shit. We just got like a like a five dollar raise almost. You know, we was making eleven. I think that put us at about fifteen ninety eight. You know with the Dookie Hauser math, you know, uh, yeah, we had almost $16, you know, $15.98, and uh, I still got two more hours to go, so I should be able to get that $60 bonus, which you get for doing your first 20 orders for GoPuff, you know, I'm not that far away from that six orders, I'm mad that I gave my Tuesday up, because I could have had like a nice little $400 check for 14 hours, for a 14 hour week, man, I'm mad I gave that Tuesday up. But it's cool, you know, I'm, I might work tomorrow. They said they might need a driver tomorrow for like five hours. So I'll probably come in and get that just to make up for me not doing my two days this week. But, you know, I still got the Les Brown plan. Man, he just said something powerful, man. He said, why do people, why do people want, why do people choose known hills instead of unknown heavens? Man, that's powerful, man, because when you think about addictions and all of that and the stuff that you know it do to you, you know it ain't doing you no good. You know what I'm saying? 
but you still choose to do it, like smoking, drinking every day. You know it's tearing your liver up, tearing your kidneys up, your lungs up, all of that, your heart up, but you still continue to do it. That's like a known hell versus like an unknown heaven, like what kind of health you would be in, you know, uh, just everything, man. You, you know, you wouldn't be wasting as much time, the money you have, you know. Just, man, I'm just thinking about all of that, man, right now. You know, Les Brown, that's my favorite guy to listen to for motivation. And he also gave another quote that I want to uh, give to you. I got this light on. The police did just do a U-turn. I hope they don't blur me. I do got a brake light out still, but uh, we're going to keep it moving. But he say, until the pain of change. No, he say, until, until the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change, you will never change. Man. You know, let that lay on you for a minute, man. Until the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. You will never change, man. But I get back on y'all in an hour, man. Go on, let that sit on your on your dome, man. You know, dude be man, I'm telling you, man. Man, he did, man, inspiring, man, for real. But I'm gonna get back on y'all uh, at 12, man, with another two hour update, you know. But I think we're gonna go over 100, man, plus that 60. So I should be able to make 160 in these little seven hours, man. We're gonna see how it go, though. What's going on, man? It's 11 o'clock. I know I said I wasn't gonna update till 12. You know, I got an hour left on the clock, you know. But man, it's puffing out here, man. You know, when I did that last update, man, right now, you know, when I did that last update, I was at 14. You know, that was an hour ago. I done did three more, putting me at 17 on the night. But for $98.64, 90, $98 man, you know. So we out here eating, man. You know, today, like, it ain't been a night like this in a while, man. I, I'm about to run out of space on this phone. 98 divided by 6. Yeah, we at 16.33 an hour. You know, not not great. It's, man, we making good money, man. You know, I've had days that been real slow on the puff, man. So this a this a good day. This a nice, hell yeah, it's a nice little change up, man. You know, we was making fifteen something an hour. Now we making sixteen thirty three. I got I'm three orders away from getting a uh, sixty dollar bonus. Though I'm at seventeen on the week in one day. So you know, regardless, even if I don't get another order tonight. I get that 98 plus 40, which would be what 138 in seven hours. So, you know, but I'm definitely about to probably get three. I'm gonna wait till I get these three orders. I'm at least it's worth getting 20 extra dollars, you know. But I'm gonna do another update at 12, man. Just wanted to give y'all another update of where I, what was going on right now, you know. And it's been a good little smooth day, you know. But uh, yeah, I got one more hour on the clock. We're going to see how much we can do. But I'm definitely going to stay till I get to 20. What's going on? Welcome back to the 12 o'clock ride to the house video, man. I'm coming through downtown. There's been a lot of action. Been busy out here in the city today, man. You feel me? But, uh, man, when I did that last update, I was at uh, 17 deliveries for $98.64. You know, after six hours, that was like making sixteen dollars and thirty-three cents an hour. You know, well, with that bonus, it was more than that because I did I did get over the forty orders. I mean, the uh, ten orders to get the forty order bonus. But man, in this last hour, I was able to get that to that twenty orders. So I'm at twenty orders on the night, man. So that gave me sixty dollars right there. Plus, I did sixty-five dollars in delivery charges. For the 20 orders, and I did fifty dollars and sixty four cent in tips, putting me at one hundred fifteen dollars and sixty four cent on the night, man. Wow, good ass night, man. Plus, I did the uh, you know, get the sixty dollar bonus. So one in one day, I made one hundred seventy five dollars, man, in seven hours worth of work. You know, I'm really mad that I gave my shit up Tuesday now, for real. But $175 tonight, 115 plus the 60 I get for doing the 20 orders. Can't beat it. That's like $25 an hour, man. You know, good puffy money. You know, I can say it. You know, drop the slogan off again, man. Dropping off st snacks, making stacks. It's been a while since I've been able to drop off some snacks and make some little snack stacks. But it was the summertime, you know, school back then. So it should be, oh, like, from here on out, every night should be over $100 easily. You know? 
Had the Les Brown plan for motivation today. And we got to it, man. You know, I'm trying to uh, see if I'm gonna work tomorrow or I'm gonna do Walmart. I'm about to do this video, Walmart versus Go Puff. I'm gonna do like four hours on the Puff. Then I'm gonna do four hours on Walmart and see how, well, vice versa and see how much I make. You know what I'm saying? Both of them, dude, Black Hustlers uh, Club gave me that idea. He did like DoorDash, uh, just a couple more things. Like he did like three hustles in one day. Think I'm about to do a GoPub versus uh, Walmart, like four hours, split it up one day. But yeah, man, not to get off topic, man. We had a good puffy night, $175 in one day. You know, I still might try to pick up another day. If not, that's still straight because I did do two days over there at Walmart, made some nice little money over there. You know, plus I do a lot of other things. But man, document the grind, document the hustle, man. Been another one for the books, man. Peace and love, help and wisdom. Stay puffy. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the street sand online. You know, today's hustle, man. I'm on my way to the GoPub warehouse, man. I'm about two or three minutes away. You know, this is my first day in two weeks, man. I ain't worked the last two weeks, man. You know, I've been getting on a uh, scheduling app too late. I guess they start putting the app, the, uh, the hours out at 12, and they used to put them out at 12.45, so I've just been missing them, man. I meant to set my alarm clock. I just ain't been doing it. But I won't miss it this week. But you know how they uh they switched it from when I work, man. The when I work app worked way better than picking up the hours on Go Drive. You know, I've been talking to a lot of drivers on the vlog, and they they uh, they agree. You know, I think the when I work app was better. You can see the, the other drivers that's on the shift with you. You can drop shifts just to a specific person instead of just dropping it on the whole board. You know, it had a lot of different advantages that I like uh, better than the just everything just be routed through Go Drive app, you know. But today I'm on the Wild Wild West tip, man. They told me we can just pull up. I ain't got no days this week. I'm about to just pull up and gaffle some hours this week, you know. <laughs> For real, since they said, because I guess he, they trying to do away with the subsidy from what I heard through the grapevine. So they trying to just do like a Uber East DoorDash, like whoever in the vicinity grabbed the order kind of thing. That's what it seemed like, because they talking about we could just pull up. So I'm about to just pull up <laughs> and leave when I want to, you know. I'm like, I don't know how, how structured that's going to be, but uh, we're going to get in here and see. It's my first time doing this. Uh, I had another, somebody asked me about, could they just pull up and do this? But I, I advise you to try it, because I'm sure about to try it. I don't, ain't nobody here to tell me no. The GM is saying that the GM at our location is saying that he's just completely hands off of everything. Like, he can't. Uh, edit the hours. He can't give out hours no more. Like the GM that we had before this was so so dope, man. And it was more interpersonal. Like you could call him, he would pick up the phone, or he would say he text you. Like this guy's just straight hands off, man. You know, straight up, and they make it harder on us as drivers. They, they said we not even employees technically, we, we contractors. Like man, we we the heartbeat of the company though. You know, but not to get off topic, man. You know, I just had a lot of stuff to talk about, man. I ain't drove in two weeks. You know, and I, I, I've been doing this almost two years. And like March, it to be two years. You know, and I, I really feel slighted when I can't just get a guaranteed schedule and I've been doing it that long. You know, you're not going to find too many drivers that's going to drive for you that long, you know. But I'm about to pull up here in this warehouse. I ain't tripping because I did drive for Walmart today already. You know, I made them low. Uh, I think I made $50 over there. Yeah, I made $50 over there. You know, two trips. I did a best order, two a best order, and then I did one single order. But yeah, man, document the grind, document the hustle, man. We back on the puffy clock, trying to run it up. What's going on? Welcome back to the seven six o'clock update. You know, my shift is five to whenever I feel like leaving. <laughs> that's that's how they said. I mean, we just pull up and sign in and sign out if you please. Hey, I'm a I'm a key. I'm a just do it like that. So I don't know what time I'm gonna stay till. But anyway. And one thing I, else I don't know, like pulling up like this and working like this, I don't know if we still get the subsidy or not. I know our subsidy was $12, it went down to $9.75. You know, I don't know if they, they losing money or if it's too many drivers or what's going on, but we sure just took a $2.25 pay cut on the subsidy. 
our subsidy used to be 850 though. So that 12 was like was definitely doing good. But uh 975 ain't bad. Still a quarter of a minimum wage. But you know, in this first hour, I was able to uh do two deliveries, man. You know, I got a three dollar tip from both deliveries, you know, and I end up making 1250. You know, so you know the sick we figure we get 325 per delivery plus the three dollar tip from two customers, 625 times two. Yeah, no. 1250. You know, that's what we made in that first hour uh, back on the puff, man. I ain't, you know, I did drive. I didn't drive last week. I drove the week before that. I thought I had two weeks, so it just felt like it. But the week before that, I only did one day. So I've been puffing sporadically now. You know, I've been doing a little more Walmart. Walmart been paying that bread. You know, I've been making a little more money over there. Like today, for Walmart, I only drove two, two hours and 20 minutes. And made fifty dollars so far, and the tips ain't even been added on there. Usually, the tips go on there like the next day, so I might have made close to a hundred in two hours and twenty-two minutes. Cause I had my trip log app on, which is the app I use to track my mileage. You know, I had that on the time. You know, it keep your uh, your location, how long you drove, your mileage. Yeah, two hours and twenty-two minutes. Made fifty dollars before the tips. But uh, yeah, man, I'm on my way back up here, man. Uh, to the puffy shop, man. I don't know if I get that subsidy. I'm gonna find out. This is gonna be my first check without no scheduled days. Just pulling up, you know, like I want to on my band, on, like a bandito. Pulling up like a bandito, you know. I'm just snatching hours, you know. But we gonna see how it go, man. Document the grind. Document the hustle, man. Hope I still get the subsidy. If not, I'm, I still made twelve fifty for that hour. I'm, you know, I still make a nice little check with the bonuses. What's going on man welcome back to the seven o'clock update i think i'm gonna go ahead and stay the 11 to 12 today you know i usually work 6 to 12 anyway that was like my gravy shift but you know since the hour shortage i don't know you know i just i'm just up here today but you know when i did that first update i was at two deliveries for 1250 you know making 1250 an hour after one hour and this past hour I end up doing two more deliveries, putting me at four on the night. So it's it's at least keeping steady. You know, if I stayed at twelve, I should at least be able to get that uh forty dollar bonus, maybe the sixty dollar bonus. You know, uh, which is twenty orders. But I'm at twenty nine dollars. You know, so I'm making about got about a two dollar raise in this past hour. I was making twelve fifty. Now I'm making about fourteen fifty. You know, but I'm about to uh I'm up here waiting on the order right now i'm the only driver up here too so the next order to come out is gonna go to me so they should be breaking one out soon you know usually that's how it works but yeah man i ain't found no book to listen to yet i'm uh i've been listening to this uh I, well actually this is what i've been in here doing <laughs> when i when i am up here at the uh you know at the puffy shop you know spanish grammar man you know McGraw Hill Education. I remember they used to make our school books back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I just remember seeing that name on the books, McGraw Hill. But uh, beginning Spanish grammar, you know, just learned a little bit, you know, and just what I've been in here doing, man. Like I told you, I make the most out of my days when it's slow. I turn this car to a university. You know, I did just learn that, uh, what did he say? The L, no, he say uh, the I is feminine, you know. And the O is masculine. So it's like Hermano, my brother, you know, Hermana, my sister. You know, I'm I'm, I'm picking it up, man. I, I just ain't been consistent. Like, I'm, I'm just about to stay consistent. I'm going to get these. They got the whole they got the whole uh, set of these. So I'm going to just do them one by one. And they got, like, little quizzes in here that you can take to, you know, make sure you're digesting the information that's in the book. You know, you got to start. You got to do this like you, like you learned English, man. Baby steps. But man, not to get off topic, man. We making twenty nine dollars on four deliveries. I'm here trying to get my Espanol together, and we out here puffing, man. You know. But I'm gonna get back on y'all in uh, you know, in an hour, man. I might wait to nine because it's been kind of slow. I might go to nine so I do another update, or I might do another one at eight. Y'all to see how I go. What's going on? Welcome back to the nine o'clock update. You know, the last update I did was two hours ago. I've been on the clock for four hours now. I started at five o'clock. You know, really, it might have been a little after 12 since we can just come in, like, whenever we want to. I told you it's the wild, wild west right now, so I don't know what time I clocked in. I don't know what time I'm leaving. I was thinking about leaving at 10, getting these little hot five hours. But anyway, when I did that last update, man, I was at four deliveries. 
for twenty nine dollars, making about fourteen fifty with the nighttime drivers on. You know, uh, making about fourteen fifty an hour. You know, since then, man, I only been able to do three more deliveries in the last two hours. You figure I did four in the first two and three in these two. I got a delivery right here, actually. That I'm on my way to, but that's gonna go on a, either the ten o'clock or eleven o'clock update. I don't know if I'm gonna update every hour, or every two hours. You know, or when I'm gonna leave. I might leave at 10 o'clock. <laughs> you know, since I got the freedom to do that now, you know. But I'm at 43.75 uh, after four hours. You know, making a little, little less than 11 dollars uh, an hour because 44 would be 11 dollars on the button. You know, not a bad puffy night. You know, I've been learning my little Spanish, man. I'm learning how to. Uh, I'm learning how to. What I'm watching right now, I'm trying to get an invention. My brother got a clothing line. I'm working on two things actually. My brother got a clothing line called GGU. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. He's actually just doing a lot of stuff off of Instagram, Facebook, word of mouth. But he been he been he been doing it. He do a lot of custom apparel, all of that. You know, so we in the process of finding like a manufacturer because you know, help me build the business, you know. Help me find a manufacturer so he ain't got to do so much himself. You know, he, he pressing up everything himself. He got a vinyl cutter, he press all self-taught off YouTube. So uh, I'm looking at how to find like a good manufacturer for the clothing brand. And also, I came up with an invention that I'm trying to uh, get manufactured too, you know. But uh, I'm, I'm looking up. That's what I'm on right now. You know, 43.75, giving me time to, you know, elevate and learn. I ain't got no book on, but I'm always learning, man, you know, learning how to build this empire. I can't always, I ain't going to be go puffing too much longer, Walmart driving too much longer. You know, this might be my last year on the road doing this, you know, until my uh, own courier service start, you know, because that's my goal. You know, I'm like doing these jobs that made me like, dang, why don't I just have my own courier service where I'm just dropping people's stuff off, you know, so I'm working on that too, you know, always be working, but uh, not to get off topic, man, you know, it's a nice little night, man, you know, probably one of the last little cool nights without having to put on no jackets, you know, it's coming, that hawk coming. But uh, I'm going to get back on y'all either in an hour or in two hours. You know, we're going to see how I go. And what's going on, man? I know I just updated at 9 o'clock, man, but I just had a hell of a run, man. You know, I just did uh, I just did five orders, man, since 9 o'clock. It's 9.40. I'm coming through downtown. As you can see, you know, it's all lit up out here, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm coming through downtown. I just did five orders that beefed us up, man, for real. We was only at 43.75, man. Them five orders just gave us another, uh, wait, we at $80, man. You know, nighttime driver zone, man. That was a nice little run. I made $27, $27.50 in just that run because I got two $4 tips, a $3 tips. And I think I got three $4 tips and a $3 tip. So I made 15 in tips plus the $3.25 times four, that $12.50, you know. 2750 just for that little it only you know that it was four orders at once and then I got the one order separate but that did them four orders in probably man 15 minutes if that you know they was real close to each other I love when I catch plays like that but uh yeah I'm on the clock man it's 941 I'm gonna just do an update at 11 man since I caught this one unless I catch another run like that I should have turned the camera on when I was doing that at the time myself but you know we're gonna keep documenting the grind documenting the hustle man I'm on my way back to the puffy shop you know, see what's puffing, man. Check my fly paper, see what's sticky. What's going on? Welcome back to the 11 o'clock update. You know, when I did that last update, man, it was about an hour and a half ago. It was nine o'clock. You know, I was uh four hours in the shift. Of six hours in the shift right, right now. South Park Street West. You know, we was making about uh what was we making last time I did the update? 80. I'm at a light right now. Let me go ahead and do the math on that real quick. 80. Like four and a half hours or four point five. Shit. We was making about seventeen seventy seven an hour. You know, since then, man, I did I was at twelve deliveries for eighty dollars. You know, in this last hour and a half, I uh did another three deliveries, putting me at fifteen on the night for ninety seven twenty five, I believe. Yeah, 90, 97.65. But uh, yeah, man, I'm uh, 
what is that? That's like making, uh, we've been on the clock for six Take hours. Take the next right onto South Park Street West, then your destination will be on the left. 1627 we took a little pay cut but you know not too bad it's still a nice night out here puffing around man you know got the uh drop shipping i'm about to start drop shipping this coffee i post a bench started man i just been procrastinating but shit. your destination is on the left but well, yeah i passed the address it's right here but uh yeah i'm gonna get back on y'all in an hour man i'm on a delivery right now let's go on the 12 o'clock update though you know, but uh, I only got an hour more on the clock. We gonna see what we can come up with, man. What's going on? Welcome back to the well, 1140 update. You know, I could stay the extra 20 minutes to 12 if I wanted to. I could stay as long as I want to, for real. Since they made it to Wild Wild West, I could punch in and leave when I feel like it. But you know, anyway, I ain't gonna do that. It's, a, it's drivers up there. I don't wanna get everybody money. But you know, will I be the last update? I always have 15 deliveries for $97.65, you know, making about $16.27 an hour. You know, since then, man, in this last um, 40 minutes, man, I done did another three deliveries. I should have stayed to get that 20 order bonus, man. I could have got the $60 bonus tonight, but I'm, I'm coming in for like four hours tomorrow. I'm gonna just do it when I feel like it. But uh, I did get the uh, ten, the forty dollar bonus. I could stay for two more and get the sixty dollar bonus, but I'm not. But uh, tonight, man, I did eighteen deliveries, fifty eight fifty in delivery fees, three twenty five times eighteen. You know, and then I got fifty nine ninety in tips. You know, it'd be rare when your tips be more than your your uh, delivery charges. You know, it's, it's only like a dollar forty more, but it's more. It was out here tipping. I got some nice little swell tips tonight. You know, but we had $118.40 on the night. You know, that came out to, you know, uh, what did that come out to? I had it pulled up, just a raggedy phone, $18.21. So we got a little, almost a $2 raise, you know, $1.90 for to be exact, you know, uh, in this last hour, you know. But uh, it was a good little smooth night, man. They finally gave me some little Go Puff t-shirts. I ain't got to keep making my own. They gave me a black one too. But you know, it was a nice little night, man. We did 18 some dollars an hour. You know, I did drive for Walmart two hours. I drove for GoPuff six and a half hours. So I did almost eight. Well, I did, yeah, about eight and some change today. You know, but I made 50 right now on Walmart before the tips, even though I know I'm probably about to get 20, 30 dollars in tips. Um, and I did, with the bonus, I did 158. So $208 today you know two hundred eight dollars divided by what did i say two what did it say so two, okay two oh eight two oh eight gotta watch for these deers man rest in peace clarence man i just heard he, he passed man he was on a motorcycle and he ran into a deer man it's a guy i worked with he was real you know what i'm saying cool guy you know, and there's two people that I used to work with at the factory, man. Harold, Harold passed too, man. Shout out to Harold, man, and his family, man. Rest in peace. But I think they died on the same day, man. You know, for real, it's crazy. Man. I think Harold had like a sting in his heart or something like that. But he was always talking that, yeah, I'm gonna work till I'm 59 and a half, man. He was a good dude from Chicago. And then he was talking about retiring and he kept going, like he kept working, like he ain't never get to do none of the things that he that he used to talk about doing. You know, he used to ride motorcycles and all that too, but uh, he was just waiting on, waiting to retire to spend his time how he wanted to. And then, you know, he's still working at that factory, never really got to do the things he wanted to do, man. You know, that's why I say, man, live your dreams like Les Brown say, man, for real. Like, for real, man. Don't die. Live for or die empty, man. Like like you say, man. You know, die with everything out of you, man. Get, that you like give it to the world, man. But I done got off topic, man. You know, just thinking about you know that that it be hitting hard. Even though I ain't even you know really talk to them guys and communicated with them on the regular. It was times for, I worked there for two years, so it was a little relationship. I knew these people, you know what I'm saying. And just hearing they pass, you know, just wanted to 
reflect on that situation, man. I'm like, man, I ain't 59 and a half. Damn, man, I'm retired before the end. But we made $23 an hour today. You know, 208. I did put $30 in gas in here, so 178, 208. 208 came out to uh, $23.11, you know, um, per hour. Now, if I take away the gas, minus 30, that's going to be 178. So, 178 divided by 9. We still made 1977 an hour, man, just for everybody to want to see the gas and all of that. You know, still $20 an hour, even with the 30 that I put in the tank. And I'm still on a quarter tank. You know, and that's from driving at Walmart and uh, GoPuck, you know, but uh, document the grind, document the hustle, man. I'm in front of the crib tonight, man. I'm going to get back on you. I might work tomorrow. I might just do a Walmart video tomorrow. Y'all to see how it go. You know, peace and love, health and wisdom, man. Stay puffing, stay hustling, get your money. going on welcome back to the channel rookie riches where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the street sand online you know today is hustle man i'm trying to get this glare over here man but today is hustle man i'm a go puff delivery driver i'm sitting up here at the warehouse right now uh it's me i seen two other drivers but they just pulled out with orders um you know they changed the when i work at you know you used to be able to see how many drivers on the shift with you and all that i hated that they went away with that app because now Everything is on the Go Drive app. You can't even see what other drivers here until you pull up. So I don't know how many people are actually on. But this another wild, wild west just pulling up and pulling up and grabbing orders tonight. I don't even I just came in. It's 536. I'm gonna stay till I feel like, you know, I'm done. <laughs> you know? So I might leave at 10. I may leave at 12. You know, I, I worked last night. I think I did 530 to 12. I might do something similar to that tonight. But you know. I was able to do 18 orders last night for $118. You know, I think the pay came out to like about $17, $18 an hour last night, you know, for that $118. But we're going to see how much we can make tonight. But I am, I do got, I did, man, I, I've been on my eBay hustle too, man. You know, I went and bought three boxes of these Funko Pops. I got like two other boxes back here too, you know. I got them everywhere. It's another one over there. But uh yeah, these this like the uh Fortnite Funko Pop. I don't play Fortnite. My son did, used to play that. He probably still do. Uh this is the Loot Llama figure, you know. So if y'all a fan of this, hit me up on my eBay store. I got these for a dollar a piece. She has 70 of them. Um they only took cash. You know, uh, I ain't I ain't had time to run to the ATM and bring no cash back. So I pulled out the little 20 in cash. Grab three boxes and six in each box. And then I grabbed two extra, you know, just to make 20. But they go for like $20. 20 or 20, 20, I think it was 20, $22. So you figure five dollars for shipping, a dollar for the uh product. That's six dollars. Plus eBay, if I sell them for 20, they get two dollars. You know, that's eight dollars. That means I make twelve dollars profit off each one of these, and I got 20 of them, you know little quick 240 you know and i only got to take one picture and just go to uh quantity of 18 but uh, quantity of 20 but not to get off topic man we on the go puff clock feeling good today man it's a nice little bright day out here you know to be making some nice money i was gonna do walmart and go puff all week but i didn't man i, uh, I missed walmart today i went and worked out and just was tired man i had some other stuff to do i had to edit a video you know I had to get my computer fixed it was just uh, like me out of whack i don't like getting knocked out of whack we're going to see how much we can run up, man. I'm going to update. Depending on how long I stay, I might update every two hours or every hour. You know, document the grind, document the hustle. What's going on? Welcome back to the 730 update, man. You know, I've been on the clock for two hours so far, man. You know? And, man, it, it's, it's kind of steady, man. I ain't even going to lie, man. Last night, I was able to do 18 orders. I think I'm going to at least match that. Dang. I'm going to at least match that or beat that tonight. You know, um, I'm at five orders in two two hours. So if I stay to 12, 
which I might leave at 11. I'm debating, you know, because I do got my own choice to just stay if I want to and just leave. I can leave right now if I want to. I already got the uh, $60 bonus, you know, which is, I'm over 20 orders. I'm at 23 on the week. I did 18 yesterday, and I did five today. But, man, with the five orders I did today, putting me at $28, man. Put me at $28. You know, I was able to do three orders in that six o'clock hour, and I did two orders so far in that seven o'clock hour, but I'm almost back at the shop. I might have another couple more multiple order run, you know, but I'm at, uh, you know, $28 and 25 cent, I believe. So we make it about over $14 an hour, you know, 14, what, 14, 12 or something like that. 14125 you want a point one two five you want to get tech but uh yeah man i'm on my way back up here i ain't list these funko pops yet because i want a like nice background and brand new so i want them you know I'll probably wait till i get home i'm trying to go to the dollar tree and grab me a little white poster board that's my little cheap white background i might go in here and grab some copy paper while i got a little light outside but you know you see how i go i got the napoleon hill book plan well really he just uh breaking down things that what he meant in the book make it grow rich you know right now he's talking about personality uh 10 personality traits to have a uh, you know winning personality man and uh man I, i've been writing this stuff down man you know he say get out the hood habit of being judgmental you know get out the habit of being sarcastic no matter if you you know if it's just little sarcasm and all that people can sense you know basically the hate <laughs> for real what i got out of it he said, get out the habit of talking about yourself. You know, um, physical ailments. Don't nobody want to hear you all, you know. People, don't nobody really want to care. care you know? I mean, I ain't going to say they don't care, but don't nobody want to hear about it. So a lot of that stuff you got to keep to yourself, man, because it, it's a mood killer. You know, and I know a couple down, Debbie Downer people, man. You ever had somebody, well, uh, uh, I've been going through this and going through that and you know, and the whole conversation turns into something like that. You know, I don't like them kind of conversations, but basically I'm just listening to him talk about uh, how to, you know, develop a winning personality, man. But uh, right now, that's where I'm at. You know, I'll get back on y'all and I'll probably do an update at 9.30. I'll probably just go every two hours tonight, man. You know, it's a nice little puffy night. I'm about to probably get an order right now. I'm about to see. I'm going to sit up here and leave the camera on because it ain't no cars up here. It might bring one out to me real quick while I'm up here. You know, funk old pop. Yeah, these mugs. It's crazy. Any mug go for $20. You know. But man, I'm gonna get back on y'all in an hour. I thought they was gonna bring it over uh at 930 man in two hours. Man, I thought they was gonna run an order out here. What's going on? Yeah, man, I'm sitting up here at Go Puff. It's 9.30, and, uh, you know, I'm sitting up here with two other drivers, man. Last time I did the update, it was 7.30. I was two hours in, and I was at uh, $28.25, so making about $14, $12 an hour. You know, uh, I forgot that screenshot, too. I'm sorry. You know, I hate when I'm doing that, you know. But, you know, I had did five orders in that first two hours. You know, in this last two hours, man, I was able to do six. Let me go to my chart, man. I was able to do six. Put me at 11 orders on the night. I'm at 35.75 in uh, delivery fees, $29 in tips, and $64.75, man, on the night. You know, that's like making uh, like 16, 16, 18 an hour, you know, $16 an hour, man. Dookie Hauser with that math, man. That boy's sharp, man. E equals MC squared, all that shit. <laughs> you know? But yeah, man, I, uh, we had uh, 29 orders because I did 18 last night. I did 11 tonight. So we won order away from getting that $80 bonus. I might go ahead and take it in after I get that $80 bonus. But if I go to 12, I might be able to get that $100 bonus and be done for the week. Because I, I think that's all I'm about to start doing is uh, doing my 40 orders, get my $100 bonus. Y'all can have the rest of the week. You know, I think I'm about to just start busting it out like that. You know, because that at least guarantee I make about 400, 450, depending on how busy it is. And that's only in 18 hours. 
You know, I used to make like $600 checks in 18 hours, you know, sometimes. Last year, it used to be busy, busy. Like, we, I don't know, man, our old GM used to have this popping. Not to say it ain't as busy as it was, well, it's not. Because I had nice 40, 70, 40, 35. I did 175 orders at this location. I don't think nobody ever broke that record, man. You know, 40 one night, 35 the next night, 27 the next night. It was booming. Crazy, you know, but, uh. Let me see today's order history. My busiest hour has been, let me see, I did four. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Okay, I did three and six, at six o'clock. I did four at seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four at seven. And I did three at eight o'clock hour. So seven, seven o'clock was my busiest hour. You know, I did four orders in that hour, did three in the eight o'clock hour, and one in the nine o'clock hour. It's 9.35 right now. You know, I just got through listening to Joe Dispenza. I'm gonna have to check him out, man. Um, he came on after I was listening to the Napoleon Hill, but I'm gonna leave you with this little- One, two, six, nine, four, four, seven, four, five, two, four. But uh, he said, the unknown is uncertain, man, you know, for real. And he said, the best way to predict your future is to create it, not from the known, but the unknown. So quit being scared to change, man. You know, you already know what your life going to be if you keep living the way you live, living, man. That's that's what smoking and everything. I took that and resonated with it. You know, I had to start over on everything. I'm day two, everything, smoking, drinking, uh me all of that like i just i don't know i still ain't did the 30 days that's been my goal so i still i'm gonna keep fighting until i get it you know but not to get off topic man i'm gonna uh, get back on y'all shit this was a long take <laughs> at 11 30 man or might wait to 12 when i check up out of here man if i stay to 12 what's going on welcome back to the 12 o'clock well i'm tripping to the 10 30 update man i just did an update an hour ago at 9 30 I ended up just cutting up out of there, you know, early at 10.30, man. I could have stayed, milked it out till 12, but it ain't really busy. All of us were just sitting in the driveway, you know, um, and when I did the last update, I was at 11 deliveries. I only did one in this last hour, you know, it definitely slowed up, and there's definitely enough people there to be able to handle it, you know. Um, it's actually 10.41, so I'm only getting out like an hour, hour earlier than I anticipated, you know. But, you know, I did 12 deliveries tonight. You know, I was able to get that $80 bonus. I had some problems with my app. I supposed to have 31 orders. One of my orders, like when I went to close it out, the app crashed and I couldn't even close the order out. So I went to, to the shop and I got there and I'm like, can you close me out the order? And uh, they tried to close me out, but the order just, I don't know, it vanished or something. So I'm gonna have to contact driver support. I need my money. I don't know what they gave me. I know that 325 plus whatever tip i need that though but uh yeah man i did one more delivery i was at 6475 on the last update so in this last hour i did one more man uh put me at 12 on a night 39 dollars in delivery fees 31 dollars in tips for 70 dollars on the night man you know not not horrible i did 118 last night uh so plus the 70 that's what 188 Plus the eighty dollar bonus, that's two sixty eight, and what fourteen hours? You know that ain't bad money, man. You know, dropping off snacks, making stacks, man, for real. Uh, uh, man, you know it was a little smooth night. I ain't worked that long. I only worked from five thirty to like ten thirty. Little five hour shift, but we was able to uh, make a couple dollars. You know, I ain't really listening to nothing tonight. Uh, I, I did listen to Joe Dispenza, and you know I was just all around, all around the night. Just had, just took it in from everywhere. I'm trying to learn how to uh, open up a smoke shop. I'm, I gotta like channel my energy into this one thing. I, I ain't list the Funko Pops. I'm gonna list them tonight though, cause uh, I'm getting out early, so I'm, you know, go home. I ain't tired. Go home, smoke a chill. But uh, this been another one for the books, man. You know. Um, I, I like this Wild Wild West because I ain't got to commit to nothing. I can just pull up. Only thing I don't like 
is I think I don't like the nine. The, we don't get the twelve dollar subsidy no more. We get nine seventy five. So I don't know how that work. I, I'm I'm gonna see like when I get this check next week, I'll be able to see if we get a subsidy or not. You know, hopefully we do still, cause I can deal with an eight dollar subsidy, especially when I'm making more way more than that, just doing three deliveries an hour. You know, I can I can deal with that. It used to be eight fifty, so that's how I'm used to doing doing it anyway. You know, that twelve was just a luxury. But yeah, man, to tomorrow, uh, if I work tomorrow, I might do uh, Walmart the next couple of days and then come back here Sunday. You know, it's Tuesday. I might, yeah, I think I'm going to do Walmart Wednesday, Thursday, and come back on Sunday. Try to snag 10 orders so I can get that $100. But yeah, document the grind, document the hustle, man. I'll get back on y'all Sunday. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, where all we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the streets and online. You know, today is hustle, man. I'm a GoPuff delivery driver. I'm right across the street from the warehouse, man. You know how I do. You know, get my get my uh, my chi together. You know, my woo side together. Get ready for the shift. But you really ain't nothing to get ready for, man. It's so laid back and cool. You know, I, was, I just got like a six-hour shift today. 6 to 12, you know, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. You know, I only worked two days this week. You know, this is my second day. Yesterday I worked, you know, yesterday I only did 10 deliveries, man. You know, when I was able to crack that $40 bonus yesterday, you know, I only did $45.50 with that $40 bonus, eight, figure $85.50. And they give you a subsidy, so you figure, say, I only made $45, well, GoPub give you the subsidy, so they make, make sure I make like $12 an hour, so for them six hours, I made $72. Keep a long story short, they're going to give me that extra $45.50 plus, you know, uh, what is that? What would that be? $17. Now, about $16.50 to make that $72. So, you get that's how the subsidy work. You know, if you're only making at least 12 hours, you get that extra added onto your check, you know, in a nutshell. But yeah, man, that wasn't even a really a hell of a night. I done had times where I done did two 10 deliveries in an hour or two. You know what I'm saying? Two hours, you know. I, I, my biggest night is 40 deliveries. My biggest week is 175 deliveries. Then I turned around and did 153 like the week after that. You know, all out like this 2003 Toyota Camry. They kill a cam, kill a cam. <laughs> That's what I call it, you know. Kill a cam, you know. But, uh, man, I'm about to get in here and see how much uh, puffy money we can make tonight, man. You know? And, you know, we're going to keep stacking hustles, man. I'm, I'm working on something else, too. I think I'm about to start this uh private label in this coffee, man. Start my first Shopify store, man. Oh, they letting me out. I appreciate it, G. Uh, but it's a lot of construction going up, going up here everywhere. Everywhere you turn, man, it's construction, man. But I'm going to get back on y'all in an hour, man. Document the grind, document the hustle. We're about to try to stack a bundle tonight. I'm going to do an update either every hour or every two hours. We're going to see how it goes. If it's slow, I'm going to just keep updating. What's going on? Welcome back to the seven o'clock update, man. You know, I've been on the clock for an hour now, man. And uh, man, it ain't puffing, man. It's starting out how I did last night. I think I only did two orders in this first hour. Yeah, I think I think that's right. Yeah, two orders, man. Two orders. Man, I gotta get me another phone, man. It's, I'm so tired of playing with these generic phones, man. <laughs> My phone gotta have some more power, man. Like this phone is horrible, man. I, and it's a brand new phone, though. That's what's crazy. It's a Galaxy A12 or something. Like this ain't like the big boy Galaxy Note or nothing. But y'all did two deliveries for 750, man. You know, in an hour. So you know, go puff. They give me that little subsidy, man. You know, keep going with that. Make sure I make at least 12, but I ain't even had to work these two days, man. I was off. You know, I picked up yesterday and today, you know, but uh, it's cool. I, I'm, it's better than not getting no check, and I think I'm going to still be able to get like a $300 check or close to it for 12 hours worth of work with that subsidy and then what I'm making, you know, on these deliveries, you know, but we're going to see how it go. But, uh, yeah, man. About to get back up here. I'm about to find me an audio book to listen to. Uh, I was listening to that uh, that new Herb album, 25. I don't know if y'all heard the G Herb book, but you know, that's what I'm listening to. You know? Boy, got three classics in my book, you know? 
balling like a Kobe, broke in the face, old man, and uh, what's the other one, man? Uh, Humble Beast, on all three classics. This 25 sounded like a classic, too, though. You know, not to shit on the ones with Southside, but not to get off topic, man. We about on my way back to Go Puff right now, man, but uh, that's what I was listening to this first hour that uh, New Herb got some tracks on there. I advise you to check it out. But I'm about to turn on a book in a minute. Return on some Spanish when I be here building and growing, man. I'm going to do another update. Man, I might wait two hours, man. So hopefully it pick up in the next couple of hours. What's going on? Welcome back to the 9 o'clock update, man. You know, I ain't did an update in two hours, man. You know, when I did the last update, I was one hour in the shift, 7 o'clock. I did two deliveries for $7.50. Man, since then, man, in these last two hours, man, it is not puffing, man. I only did two more. I only did two deliveries in the last two hours, man. Like I said, I could have sat this one out, but uh, I figured with the $12 subsidy, shit, I probably just, even with the $12 subsidy times 12, 240 for, uh, you know, 12 hours worth of work, you know, but ain't bad plus whatever I make. So, you know, like I said, I do multiple hustles, man. I don't put all my eggs in one basket. I don't just depend on both of to feed me. I do all kind of other things. But, you know, not to get off the topic, man. Back to the business. I did two more deliveries, man. $16. $16, man. <laughs> $16, man, for real. Like, you figure I got $325 times four. What is that, $13? So I got $3 in tips in three hours, man, you know. It's, it's 10 drivers in the parking lot right now, though, you know. Um, I don't think they, like, see, that we just switched GMs. So it's like, I don't think they know. I don't, I don't know if they've been paying attention to the volume versus, like, the season that we in. Like, we in the summertime right now. You know, we got a big college here, Western Michigan. We got K College, you know, uh, KVCC being rolled, you know. But uh, a lot of that is, crowd is not here right now. And I don't think they noticing that. They keep having just a bunch of drivers and they not need it for right now now in the fall winter maybe you know but kalamazoo such a small city 20 mile radius that i think you can get by with probably still five six drivers a shift you know we did it last year we used to get five six orders man ain't no way you can't get you know five orders done and they all on one side of town in 30 minutes you know because uh like i work for walmart how i know it can be done i've had a Sometimes for Walmart, you would get a batch order, and it's seven or eight orders. You know what I'm saying? And you still be able to finish it in an hour, and they be all in all the zip codes. 024, 007, 009, 006. They'd be all over, and i still be able to finish in an hour, sometimes less than an hour. So I know, you know, going to one side of town, like, you know, it's not hard to do five orders at one time. You know, that's how they used to do it, but now they're giving us one order at a time, you know. But it's cool, you know, I, I take it with, you know, with the grain of salt. I still make good little side money doing this, you know. But uh, not to get off topic, man, I'm going to do another update, man, at uh, 10 o'clock. But always be stacking your hustles, man, for real. Don't never just depend on one thing to feed you. Always have multiple, even if you just got a job, nine to five, man. I feel like talking, man, it ain't puffing. You know, it ain't puffing. You know, but, uh, yeah, man, even if you got a nine to five, man, be doing something, man real like i advise y'all i'm gonna leave a link in the description uh start y'all a fidelity account start y'all a vanguard account you know them long-term investment things like you know i'm mad i start learning this stuff later but they got a thing where you can set up what do you want to have in 10 15 20 years you know what i'm saying and they work with you to like show you where you can like set it up like how much you want to invest and to show you exactly how much you need to invest every month I just got on one of them. Got a little 20-year plan going on. Got a 10-year plan one going on, too. But, man, I'm going to get back on y'all in an hour. Man, I always be hustling, though, man. You know? As a matter of fact, I'm going to just wait till 11 o'clock because it ain't puffing. You know, it ain't puffing. I'm going to wait till 11, man. Man, what's going on? I'm sitting up here at Go Puff, and it ain't puffing, man. For real, man. <laughs> man, I've, uh, I've been up here, shit, man, about 30 minutes maybe 45 minutes ain't got an order man but when i did that last update i was at uh four deliveries for 16 dollars man 13 dollars in delivery fees three dollars in tips 16 dollars that was a, that was two hours ago at nine o'clock since then 
I done did two more, man. Put me a six on the night for twenty-seven fifty. You know, twenty-seven fifty, and I've been here since six o'clock. I got one more hour to go. I don't know if too much gonna change. I was at least hoping to get that twenty delivery so I can get that sixty dollar bonus, but it ain't looking good. I'm at sixteen right now. Only got an hour left on the clock. Only been averaging probably one a hour. <laughs> You know, but uh, with the subsidy, man, they make it make it you know sixty dollars. So they gotta you know pay me that difference. So I am at sixty dollars with the subsidy as far as delivery go, twenty seven fifty. You know, but uh, man, you know I'm in here. I've been in here uh, taking notes, man. On uh, you know, cause I'm about to start. I'm either about to use Shopify or Wix to start uh, start this drop shipping store. You know, uh. It's gonna be another stream of income, you know. I'm trying to figure it out, man. Like I'm, I gotta, uh, you know, like I said, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. So I want a Shopify store, a couple, um, you know, I want a couple Amazon associate stores. Like it's, it's ways to make money. I'm trying to automate this money though now, for real, where I could just put the money behind the ass and the shit just and just make money, you know. That's where I'm at with it, you know. Pay to get it built, pay to get the ass ran, pay to get the, you know, build the social medias around whatever the product is you know it take a little time but i can have all this up and running in like a week you know if i uh, just go ahead and do everything miracle morning like that book i said like do a little today do a little today you know like isolated in different parts you know i'm all about making this money automated man if possible man for real about to uh you know i just bought some uh got into the s p 500 you know the return on that been like 12 13 percent since it's, since the inception like you know, for real, I'm, all this stuff be learned, man. I wasn't even learning none of this when I was just working at them slave labor jobs, man. Just ain't had no type of ambition, man. But now, you know, with, since I got time to think, oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> what up, bro? Since I, uh, since I got time to think and stuff like that, man, I'll be uh, able to find all these different hustles. I just got another order. You know, I'm gonna get back on y'all in an hour when I leave here. What's going on? Welcome back to the 12 o'clock ride to the house video, man. And it wasn't puffing at all today, man. I I can't, hey, man. That's why I do other things, man. You know, I'll never just be dependent on it. Some people, this they only income. You know, they it's, it's a struggle unless you're working a lot of hours, you know. But uh, I ain't, that's the reason I got out of doing factories to try to get out of doing all them hours. It's just something I can kind of do freelance on the side when I want to. But uh, not to get off topic, man, I, uh, when I did the last update, man, I was at six deliveries for $27.50. You know, that was, uh, that was just an hour ago, though. You know, since then, you know, I, I uh, did two more deliveries, put me at $41 on a night, man. <laughs> On eight deliveries, twenty six dollars in delivery fees, fifteen dollars in tips, eighteen deliveries in two days, man. You know I've had nights where I had eighteen deliveries in four hours. You know it done definitely slowed up. So and then we getting like one delivery. You know it's, it's rare that I get multiple deliveries. You know that's why I cut down to like one two days a week when it pick up. Cause then you know I'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna be back going crazy how it was, especially, you know, if they talking about this Delta variant and all that, not wishing nothing like that happen. I hope it don't, you know, because uh, I was used to the world opening back up. But uh, when that pandemic hit, man, we was making so much money out here, man, when nobody leaving, like, around now, like 12 o'clock when I'm getting off, I used to work to one, man. It used to be, like, nothing but delivery drivers on the street. Like, I used to see nothing but us, like, GoPuff, Domino's, Pizza, Happy's, like happy pieces, I used to see happy a lot because they sell them like two or three. But like I remember when it first hit, we was killing it, man. You know, it was it was definitely a different time. Great time to be a puffer. You know, I'm still keep on puffing, man. But you know, it definitely done slowed up a, a lot. You know, that's why I done went back over to Walmart. Seemed like that done picked up more. You know, they done changed a couple of things in the app that I like too. You know. Um, uh, I, I don't, I'm trying to see if I like that. The changes they made in the Walmart app is better or worse. Because you used to be able to set up your orders like back to back, catch a 1245, catch a 145, catch a 345, 245, you know. Now it's kind of like 
once you got an order, you don't know when you get your next one, or they they have like round robin orders. But this, I still did all right. I made like five hundred something dollars over there last week, and like I probably worked twelve hours, thirteen hours. I'm seeing multiple hustles. Man, not to get off topic. I ain't even listening to the audio book tonight. I'm listening to how to get my pockets right. You know, dropping off snacks, making stacks, man. I ain't been able to get no stacks out of here, but I definitely don't work as much as I used to, so I ain't tripping. But man, it's been another one, man, for the GoPro grind. You know, document the grind, document the hustle. We get back on y'all. Shit, next week. I gotta fill out on Thursday. The schedule come out at 12:45. I missed it last week, so I gotta uh, set my alarm. Like 12:40, make sure I get at least two days. I ain't, I ain't doing more than two days. Hopefully it pick up. But uh, yeah, till next week, you know. Peace and love, health and wisdom, man. Stay puffing, stay hustling. Get your money, however you gotta get it online, on the streets, whatever you do, man. Get it. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. God got us. But uh yeah, welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, man. It's the uh nine o'clock update. I've been on the clock for two hours now. Man, I was recording on my GoPro. The battery ended up filling up, you know, so I wasn't able to continue. You know, I don't even know how I look. I don't even know how much got recorded on there. But you know I gotta keep it moving, can't let nothing stop me. But you know, when I did that last update. I was at five deliveries for twenty-four dollars and twenty-five cent. Twenty-four dollars and like sixty-five cent, I believe. Let me get that right. Twenty-four twenty-five, you know. So I was making like, you know, like twelve sixty an hour or something like that. But uh, you know, I ended up doing five deliveries in this last hour. You know, I turned up, did five deliveries, put me at ten on the night. I made thirty-two fifty in delivery fees. You know, we get three twenty-five per delivery, and I made twenty-five dollars in tips. They out here tipping tonight. Last night it took me four hours to get ten dollars in tips. You know, sometimes it just fluctuates, and you able to make more. You know, like today, today they tipping. I'm only seven fifty behind. You know, my delivery charges, delivery fees. So I'm at fifty-seven fifty. You know, I'm making about nineteen sixteen an hour. You know, we got like a little seven dollar raise that hour. You know, not bad. We're going to see what happened in this next hour. You know, I still got my book planned. You know, I still got my book planned, man. They keep, I, my YouTube keep resetting every time I log out to, like, take my screenshots and all that, you know, and stuff like that. But I still got the book planned. You are not, you are not who you think you are. I believe that's the title of it. But, uh, yeah, um, that's what I'm listening to, man. It's just about breaking ego and things like that, man. Uh, I'm all about growing, so every book I listen to, it might vary. I might be listening to some spiritual one night or something. It's like, you know, I might be listening to the Bible one night. I might be listening to some Spanish tonight. Like, I think I'm about to turn the Spanish on for, like, 30 minutes. You know, I ain't did no Spanish lesson in a couple of days, so I'm due to get a couple more phrases in me. Like, I really want to learn that language. I, I met it uh, while listening to this dude. He was 70 years old and learned four languages. You know, by the time he's 75 years old, that's, that's that's good. That's that's motivation. That's inspirational to me. But not to get off topic, this is a GoPub vlog. Right now, we making $19.16. You know, it's come out to $57.50 in three hours dropping off snacks. I'm going to do another update at 10 o'clock, man. My bad, this video is so choppy. It's going to be on two different cameras, but, you know, I got to keep going. Every time I done been to work, I done did one. I ain't missed one yet. You know, my goal is to put 100 up. That's what I said. I put my 60 of one up on YouTube yesterday. So by the time this one drop, I might have 100 or close to it. But document the grind, document the hustle. What's going on? Welcome back to the 10 o'clock update. You know, your boy been on the clock for four hours now. You know, when I did that last update, I believe I was at 10 deliveries. I was at 10 deliveries for 
you know, we was making about, I think it came out to like $19 and some change, like 1916, something like that. You know, we took a little pay cut this last hour. And I only did three deliveries this past hour, you know, putting me at 7325. You know, that come out to like 18, 1831 an hour. You know, we still at 18 an hour, you know, minus the gas, still over 16, you know, if people want to get technical, you know, I'm having to, having people telling me you got to take the gas up out of there. You know, that's true, but I don't think it'd be like a dollar in gas, though. You know what I'm saying? I think it'd be like, you know, I don't think it'd be two dollars in gas, brother. I think it'd be like maybe a dollar, dollar fifty per, you know what I'm saying, per hour, per gallon that you would take off. But yeah, I'm on my way to a delivery right now. You know, still got the book plan. You are not what you think. You know, dope book. You know, letting that ego go. Let overcoming fears, you know, showing self compassion, all of that, man. You know, it's all about building and growing, man, for real. But man, I'm gonna do another update in an hour, let y'all know where that money at. I only got two more to go, you know. But I'm, I think I'm, I only did $86 last night on 19 deliveries. I think I'm already at 13 deliveries for uh for that $73. So I think I'm gonna definitely go over that 20 to get that, you know, that $60 bonus. Yes, yeah, a $60 bonus if you do uh, 20 deliveries for your first time. So I should be getting closing in on that. I got two more hours left. Hopefully, I can get that 30. You know, that 30 would be an $80 bonus. Hopefully, I can get that tonight. But, you know, we'll see how the video, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see how the rest of the night go, man. Document the grind. Document the hustle, man. Turn my book back on, man. Overcoming all these fears and all this stuff, man. This, this book cold, man. It's a long lesson. But I'm going to finish it tonight. I listened to it for like two hours last night. I'm about three hours tonight. So I shouldn't be able to finish it tonight. If I don't finish it while I'm working, I'm going to finish it when I go home. But yeah, I'm going to get back on y'all in an hour, you know. What's going on? Welcome back to the 11 o'clock update. You know, I've been on the clock for five hours now. You know, when, when I did that last update, I believe I was at 13 orders. 13 orders for 73 dollars yeah 73 25 you know making about 18 i think it was 18 and some change an hour man i ended up getting a raise in that last hour man i did uh five deliveries in the hour from 10 to 11 o'clock you know putting me at 18 on the night for 104 dollars and 50 cents you feel me you know so in this last hour i was able to make you know 31 dollars man you know but yeah, man, I'm on my way back to the to the warehouse right now. You know, I'm making twenty dollars and ninety cents an hour. You know, take the gas off. You know, still making about nineteen. You know, if you want to get tech with the gas and things like that. But yeah, man, not a bad night. You know, it's puffing out here, man. I like I already beat last night's total with less deliveries. Like I'm at uh, eighteen deliveries right now for one hundred four dollars and fifty cents. Last night I only did. I did 19 deliveries, but I only did uh, $86, I think, something like that. Yeah, because it came out to like $14.50 an hour or something like that. But yeah, man, I'm on my way back up here. We're going to see how much more money we can snatch up. About to run out of time to record on this phone. This video going to be kind of crazy. But uh, we're going to get it done, though, man. We got one more hour, man. See what we can pile up on in an hour. You know, I'm at $104.50. You know, still got the book plan. Feeling good, man. What's going on? I just got smacked with 12 orders, man. I mean, with seven orders. You know, it's 11.14. We about to see how long it take to do these. I get off at 12 o'clock, so we gonna see how long it take me to run these. Document the grind, document the hustle. Man, they are everywhere. One, two, three, four. Three on the floor. But yeah, it's 11.15. We gonna see how long it take us to finish this. What's going on? Welcome back to the 12 o'clock update. But well, really, it's about 11.42, man. You know, it only took me 27 minutes, 27 minutes to finish them deliveries, man. You know, and it was only six deliveries. It wasn't uh, seven. One of them just had two bags. I thought it was six. I mean, I thought it was seven, but it was really just six. But yeah, man, 27 minutes to finish six deliveries. I got lucky. Two of them was like, one of them was like 15, 21. One was like 15, 23. And it was apartments. So they was like right next door. Love when it's like that, you know, you kill so much time. But man, you know, I was at 18 deliveries for $104.50, making about $20.91 when I did the last update. You know, since then, man, I did six, them six deliveries. 
turn me way up, way turn me up a little bit. You know, over that $20 mark, I like being at, you know, but I'm at uh, $135, man, on 24 deliveries. You know, not bad. You know, I'm at like, that come out to like 22, I think like 22.50 an hour. You know, not bad for a good night out here puffing, man. I've been listening to my audio books, building, growing my mind and making money at the same time. You know, this been a good night, man, you know. It's been a good night. This video gonna be kinda all over the place because I shot with two different cameras, man, but it's gonna be cool. I had to keep shooting, you know. I have to making myself shoot even when I don't feel like shooting, you know. But $135, nice way to start the week.